All right, all right. Hello, everybody. Let me know if you can hear me in chat. It is, it is birthday day. Today is exciting. I've been looking forward to this for a while. Kelladorn says, I. <laughs> Scruffy looking. Nerf her. Kelador says, I just came by to wish you a happy birthday and hope today is one of the best days for you. Thank you so much. Yeah? You can hear me? Fantastic. I'm not talking I would myself. like to see the baby. Well, that's good. I'm glad you want to see the baby because I do have some babies to show you today. I hope you guys are ready for a lot of chaos, a whole bunch of silliness, some giveaways, um, a lot of Flesh Raider baby. A lot of shenanigans. No, no Flesh Raider baby. Sadly, I don't have that. It would be very strange if I did have an actual real real life flesh raider baby. So what is going for on? For house in Rockini! <laughs> so first off, big big thank you to Ninja Five. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> uh, <laughs> a big thank you to Ninja High Five. Big thank you to <laughs> for supporting this project and the birthday gift. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Matix. Matix says, hello there, and happy birthday. Thank you, Matix. Thank you very much. I'm a, oh my gosh, you guys have been posting so much, even even since I, I, I just logged in, just got sat down for the birthday party. Uh, Big. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to Radioactive Bullfrog for the birthday gift. Don Let's Polyon. see what we can make of you, shall um, we? Don Polyon, thank you for gifting us up to somebody else. So love child hippie, feel free to say thank you. And same to Maverick. Feel free to say thank you to Robin. Hi, everybody on YouTube as well. The Bounty Hunter says, happy birthday. Hope you have a great day. My son's birthday was yesterday and mine is in 11 days. Oh, y'all, a bunch of little March. Uh, what month are we? April babies, aren't you? Noxarian says, happy birthday to all. Seems like a lot of us share a birthday week. Apparently, parents are busy. We're eight months ago. <laughs> Sax says, there's no way you were born today. You're too tall. Listen, I was just, I'm just a large child, okay? The boss will be with you. Always. Thank you. Thank Happy you, lovers of Twilix. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you for the birthday wishes as well. Um, so big, big thank you as always. Um, usually I say thank you for supporting the project. I believe any any uh, subscriptions or donations today would be considered birthday gifts though. So I'm going to say thank you for the birthday gifts. Thank you very much. Um, Mr. Satrisa was so sweet. He made me a little cake and a chocolate cup. I really, really liked it. Uh, I like that. Kelly Bell says, happy level up day. Oh, I'm just scrolling up through all, all the nice all the nice messages from you guys earlier. Thank you so much for the various um, birthday wishes. New year, new toilet, new turtle mouse. Oh my gosh. Shelby. DCH, I went, I, I've been pulling up props all yesterday and today. And I swear to God, I almost pulled out the turtle mouse, but I ran out of time. I had to choose between make up a turtle mouse and a uh, turtle mouse didn't make the cut there. Thank you. Zach says, was it a regular cake in a chocolate cup or was it a chocolate cake in a regular cup? It was a... I want a chocolate cup. It was a chocolate cake in a regular cup, but that sounds really, really good. It was like a cake, but, but made in the microwave with a cup. It was really crazy and really good. Um, delicious. Was, you better show him the turtle mouse. He's, he's over there. Maybe later. Maybe if we have some downtime later. We got things to do. We got people to say thank you to. Someone get Satrisa a chocolate cup? Okay, but it better be good chocolate. None of this, none of this dollar store garbage. Uh, Cirola, thank you so much for the happy birthday. And thank you, Shelby. Oh my gosh. Shelby, Shelby has gifted me a big birthday gift by gifting you guys 10 subs. So if your name's Nene, Lex, Lusted, Orokin, Obi-Wan, Kronos, Alistair, Bot Prawn, Lightweaver, or Frayed. Feel free to say thank you to Shelby, a long time supporter of the project and the show, and also my friend. She's very sweet. I play Final Fantasy with her. And we did uh, Galactic Seasons yesterday. Her, Zach, and um, Annie invited me along. Uh, Big Panda, big thank you too, too. Big Panda says, happy birthday. Don't eat too much cake. Big hug. Do people still use the word glom? I'm glad I'm glad I'm old enough that I know what that means. It's a very strange word without any context. But thank you, thank you, thank you for the happy birthday wishes. And Red Kettle, Red Kettle gifted a sub as well as a birthday gift. So kill the kill kill the red day. Feel free to say thank you to Red Kettle. Oh, you guys are so sweet over on YouTube too. Y'all y'all wishing me happy birthdays. My birthday says nasty is the day after Christmas. No one is ever around for it. <gasps> 
<laughs> people keep uh whenever me and Satrisa me and Mr. Satrisa talk about the potential of having kids around his family for some reason the idea of the date winds up being brought up and I'm like I don't care when this kid is born if they're if they're a birthday baby on Christmas I'm gonna spoil them rotten double okay listen I'm sorry no one's ever around nasty that's when you do a uh, uh, makeup birthday party <laughs> <laughs> like in a month, right? Because everyone's like away physically. In Belgium, there's a law against bad chocolate. Oh my god. Is there actually such a thing as too much birthday cake? Yes. I actually don't love birthday cake very much. I don't like icing. So I like the, I like the cake in a cup because there was zero icing going on. It was basically like a moist brownie. Oh, it's so good. But I don't I don't like icing. I don't like icing very much. So if we if we have a big birthday party, is today the party or tomorrow? Nisasu. Um, normally it's on the weekends, so I'm wondering if that's why you're asking, but I decided to do it today because I don't have any weekends free, like, all last month or all this month, because I do things with fam. <gasps> so I'm not the only one who hates icing? Alright, so listen, we can scrape off the icing and give it to the rest of everybody else in here who likes the icing, okay? And y'all can have that nasty sugar. Cheesecake is ten times better than cake, says Jessa, who just had a cheesecake for her birthday, yes. <gasps> you're not an icing fan either? You make a fantastic sponge cake! Ah, that sounds good. I've never had a sponge cake for a birthday. Hang on, I'm gonna look up sponge cake. I don't know. I have not had one anytime recently. Oh, my mom used to make those. Like the kind with strawberry in them. Oh, yeah, I like those. I like those. But without the icing. Like just a little bit. A little bit. Oh, thank you, Beefcake. <laughs> Beefcake says happy birthday over on YouTube and, and gave a birthday gift. Thank you so much. I think that's what your name is. Is it Beefcake? Oh my gosh, YouTube doesn't want to tell me. I'm going to go with a yes. The best kind of cake. No, sorry, it's still chocolate. Queen Scribble says, yeah, cake is good. Not so big a fan of icing. Okay. Uh, I think we might have a problem here. Everybody seems to like cake, but no one seems to like the icing. The Sunjammer likes cream cheese icing. Happy birthday. Ah! Robin, thank you very much. Um, ooh, that's a that's a that's a tricky one because that's practically cheesecake, right? Cream cheese icing, yeah. All right, so let's go over what's going on for the birthday today. I don't know if I have confetti that shows up on the screen, but I want some more. You guys can't stop me. <laughs> yeah. So today is Friday, April 12th. It's birthday day. So we're going to be doing some events together that you can join. We'll actually be starting the in-game events uh, in about 20 minutes. So we're going to just kind of chill out, gather up, play some stuff. Oh my god, there's so much confetti. I swear once we actually start playing, it'll go behind me and not all over my face. Um, so what's going on for the birthday bash? Um, I will copy and paste this over to the YouTube side of things as well. Um, you can see all of the information on this page that I have linked if you need more details about how to join stuff. Um, so the very first thing we're going to be doing today in about 20 minutes will be spa day. And spa day is, it's like literally distracting me. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. I got this. I got this. Eh, eh, eh. Okay. <gasps> I don't have to, no, God, got that out of my face. Wonderful. Thank you guys so, so much for the birthday gifts. Really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, you guys talking about cheesecake and cream cheese icing and ice cream cake are making me so angry. <laughs> so angry because I can't eat any of that. Uh, no dairy. DCH, oh my goodness. Okay, listen, buddy. I'll get it. I'll get it. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. We've been over this before, but you can't see him. You can't see the turtle mouse. Because he's he's green screened. He's like the perfect mouse, actually. It's kind of awesome. Like, I could PvP so hard with this. Look at us go. <laughs> he's really cute. He's my friend. I can see him on my shelf all the time. He is green screened out. Isn't that funny? <laughs> so this is, a, this is actually a former birthday gift from, from DCH. It's a literally a turtle mouse. <laughs> Wait, maybe I can find it online. Hang on, hang on. Uh, turtle mouse. 
He has a cloaking generator? Yes, he does. It's really cute. Look at this. Look at this little guy. And his little cord comes out of his mouth. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! I, I, <laughs> I can't show you guys because even that screen screened out. Hang on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This little guy. There, there we go. Perfect. Perfect. He's my little invisible mouse friend. Aww. No, so cute. Anyways, uh, today's Friday, April 12th. We're gonna be doing a birthday, birthday bash today. Um, for those of you on Twitch, you can always type exclamation point birthday and you'll get the schedule. So in about 18 minutes, we're gonna be doing spa day. And if you'd like to participate in that, uh, it will be Star Forge server, Republic side, level 15 and up. So basically you just need your ship. You need to have your ship in the story, Republic Side Starforge server, and that's so we can teleport you to location. Um, we actually have a friend who's physically there, and it's a secret location, but you don't have any requirements to get there other than having your ship. Um, if you would like, uh, I highly encourage you. Oh, darn it, I got locked out. I highly encourage you to bring a character that you want to dress up. They're physically in my digital stronghold? That's right! You got it! I still have five mouse. <laughs> um, so I, I encourage you to bring a character who's dressed up for- Hey! Her pants are the same color as the turtle mouse, except they're not see-through. Uh, bring a character dressed up in a, like a bathing suit or like a resort wear or swimwear or shorts or beach stuff. You know, anything you would wear to a spa day. Um, we don't exactly have like towels <laughs> that we can wrap around our head for our spa day for our pedicure and manicure, but uh, bring, bring what it, don't bring your birthday suit. I mean, I was thinking about that. I was like, if you don't have a outfit, you could always just take off your armor. But I didn't know how to say that without being like, get naked, everybody. Because the little, the little, um, halter tops and the little, um, briefs that, uh, your character wears are pretty, pretty good, uh, bathing suit, actually. I would wear that in real life. It's, uh, yeah, we had to get this character invited to the guild so she could do, she could do invites. So, yeah, um, uh, Watch Crimson says, I'm in Europe, sad face. So, uh, no, 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 we're not Let's doing a new Let's see what we can make of you, shall we? <laughs> Skeleton, thank you. Hey there, Dark Thunder. Hi for the first time. Um, let's see what we can make of your outfit, shall we? <laughs> I just want to make... Right, I didn't want to be like, just come make it if you don't have clothes. It's fine. You guys will interpret that, that uh, incorrectly every time. Um, so, what else uh, did I want to say? Oh yeah, oh right. So, if you're not able to make it in person, you can't get the guaranteed prize, but... In about half an hour, give or take, um, our friend Silent will be coming home. And he is nice. He is willing to uh, do a bunch of giveaways. He'll probably be doing a giveaway like every 10 to 15 minutes. And you can uh, win that uh, in chat, uh, specifically mostly in Twitch chat. For those of you on YouTube side of things, I'll do a couple, but they're a bit harder to, uh, to manage. Um, but... Uh, Sorry, I got distracted by silent talking about swimwear for me from Jackie. Um, these codes are actually from Jackie, the community manager in Star Wars The Old Republic. Um, she gave us a whole bunch of codes plus some extra ones to celebrate the birthday. Are those special glasses for monitor glare? They sure are. Um, uh, they are, uh, I think, what's it called? FL40 or FL60 glasses. Um, they seem to help with the, the glare. They don't seem to help with the headaches. They, they actually do kind of increase my comfort, even if it's just a placebo effect. I like them. And they're quite comfy. Um, so what else are we doing today? Hey, happy birthday, says Tila. Thank you guys so much for all the nice uh, nice wishes there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, Miss Strahl? <coughs> Miss Strahl says, oh, I like icing as long as they don't slather it on too thick. Miss Strahl, I had the idea that uh, we could scrape off all our icing and give it to you guys who do like icing, but <sighs> it doesn't sound like you would like literally all of it. <laughs> all right, so let's go back to uh, covering what we're doing today. So we are going to be doing spa day. You literally just show up. It's just kind of a hangout little event. It's a very small, simple event. Um, show off, come get a prize. It's a pretty good prize if you show up um, in game. And lastly, oh, Silent. Silent, are you still at PT? Or did you get home early? Silent, it, whenever you're ready, feel free to start doing... Oh, hey, 
Hey, yeah! <laughs> nice! So for those of you on Twitch, a giveaway has started for the Mandalorian Heavy Jetpack. You only need to enter once to enter type Spa Day. All one word. So for those of you over on uh, Twitch, type Spa Day and you'll be entered to win a prize. Oh my gosh, so uh, a couple of you have mailed me saying like, can I get an Opal Voltilla code? Can I get a Jetpack code? Can I get an Opal Voltilla pet? This or that? Can actually... A lot of people have messaged me asking if they could buy one from me. And to be very clear, first off, you're not allowed to sell anything in the game for real money. Because it's that's called RMT and it's very much against the game's rules. Um, but more importantly, Seraph. Thank you. Thank you very much for the <laughs> for the birthday gift. And uh, hi, those of you who are coming in for the first time to, to spa day it up. Can I get an Opal Jet Baby Code? You can get a Flesh Rider Baby Code. So I've had a couple of people say, can I buy one? First off, no. Don't ask any creator to pay real money for their codes. Um, it's get them in trouble and it's also awkward. Spookums, thank you. Spookums, thank you very much for the happy birthday gift. 41 month streak, oh my god. Uh, so second. More specifically, any items in game you're allowed to like buy and trade and stuff like that. Like you could, if you have a Varactyle, you can sell it for whatever credits you want. Uh, but you can't, uh, us specifically in the content creator program who get free codes, we can't trade them for credits. We're not allowed to sell them or like profit from them, I guess you could say. So they're always only ever going to be given away. That's that's just part of the, the, the program itself. So some people give them away. Crimson, you too! Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for the birthday gift as well. Holy cow. Oh, you're using your prime. Nice. Um, what can you only do on Ord Med Tell? Sell a Flesh Raider baby? <laughs> Buy and sell? Oh, except bribes. <laughs> um, so we can't sell them for credits. So uh, there's two ways to get these type of things, these community mounts. So the jetpack that we're giving away right now on Twitch is one of them. The Opal Voltilla is flesh one of them. Raider baby. The Opal Voltilla pet is one of them. And there's technically two other pets that are kind of old fashioned. <gasps> Rest in peace, a flesh raider baby. No, I have babies for you guys. I promise. Do these mount across, unlock across the whole legacy? Yeah, for all your characters on your account. It's pretty sweet. Um, so content creators who get the codes either a give them to people who have helped them with their projects for example um i have been very generous with my codes to those people who've been volunteering for the website jackie's so sweet she even sent some specifically to them oh, rorschach you too thank you thank you thank you for the birthday and are the codes region locked nope no if you win you just you just put it in the website darklight wolf says happy birthday thank you thank you and jr thank you so much for uh sharing the good, the good news about the birthday over on the YouTube side of things. Okay, and then, oh, Helly, Helly, you're here. Oh my God, that's awesome. And second, uh, most commonly, uh, they'll give away the codes via giveaways. So if you're interested in those uh, codes, maybe you don't win one today and you're trying to find a specific thing, um, content creator support. The best thing to do is to go to this page that I'm gonna link on both and, uh, follow those people in some way or another. They usually tend to give them away on social media or Discord. For example, I think Cal um, from Today in Tour tends to give them away on his Discord. Um, I've noticed Intazar. I, I see here right now, I think so. Intazar, Cal does do a lot. Awesome, fantastic. Is it mostly on his Discord? I think so. Sometimes he posts about it on Twitter. Intazar will give some away sometimes and it's usually via his blog, which he posts about on Twitter, um, stuff like that. So um, just follow those people and keep an eye on them. And I assume the streamers mostly do them on stream, you know? I'm not picking up this confetti. This is all virtual confetti. Do you guys happen to remember when I did my first birthday party? It was in my closet in, in our apartment and I literally had <laughs> confetti physically everywhere. That was such a mess. I found some even when I moved two years later. Okay, so we're gonna go over the actual news. Um, oh, right, uh, no, I should tell you what's going on for the birthday. So wait. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> the Varactiles wish me a happy birthday too. I see them, thank you so much. Is that how you speak happy birthday in Varactile? <gasps> Cypher, you won, congratulations. Do you have that one yet? Nice. You remember the wardrobe streams? My closet streams. I'm out of the closet now. Um, so for spa day, we're going to show up. Starforge server, Republic side, 
bring a character that's level 15 and up basically has their ship in the story and ideally wear a spa day outfit if you have one spa day beach wear resort wear swim wear bathing suit underwear beach day whatever comfy clothes i don't care you want to show up in sweatpants that's fine we're just gonna get a little wet um and after that for anyone who's interested in doing the bringing down the house achievement having at least 50 other people in your stronghold at once we're gonna attempt to do that as a group um it's gonna be a bit of a mess but we'll do the best we can 50 people is hard to get um hella did ask me specifically to remind y'all that uh there are a few strongholds that folk do not fit 50 people so it needs to be like Yavin 4 or Tatooine or Alderaan. Um, even the two starter strongholds, if I remember right, Coruscant and Drum and Koss are fine, but like Manon doesn't fit. Imperial Republic Fleet doesn't fit. Mech Shah doesn't fit. I think Umbara doesn't fit. So yeah, just make sure it's over 50 people and we'll be doing it uh, mostly Republic side to, to make things easy. Yeah, so what else is going on? Uh, later on, on uh, number two at uh, 9.30 a.m. Pacific, I'll be showing off some really awesome project that we've been working on um, that Heli actually helped a whole bunch for. If you don't already know about it, it's going to be very exciting. If you do already know about it, I hope you enjoy the more intricate overview and silly stories about it. And lastly, at about 10.30 a.m. Pacific, so in about two hours from now, um, we'll be doing a sith fashion so show so it'll be imperial side starforge server um you just need to have your ship in the story and show off your best sith fashion and that doesn't mean imperial that means sith that's sith that's different you guys so if you want to join us uh for the first event please get logged in republic side starforge server there's no one specific to whisper yet um so just hold hold tight. I'm going to go go get logged in now after we finish the news. So I've got seven minutes. Yeah, let's go for the normal news. So sale of the day is the Force Apprentice's armor set. I quite like this set at 550 CC. It's actually a pretty good deal in my opinion. Um, it's a very versatile set. If you dye it black and red, it makes great for a Sith side of things too. Just kind of nice, nice textured outfit really uh, one of the first high resolution texture outfits to come out the operation decoration drop contest this is unrelated to my birthday this is a different contest and today and tomorrow are the last days to enter so you can see that at satarista.com slash events is this a thing do i have that command no okay Satarista.com slash events and i'll link that for you guys in youtube as well and if you run any operations in the game today or tomorrow and you happen to see a decoration drop whether it's for you or for another player in your raid i'm trying to gather information about when the decorations drop and you can win, win uh some of over 4,500 cartel coins i'm giving away for that contest and more importantly you'll be contributing to the general knowledge of the sotor sphere yeah uh, a fish shashin show that's right you got it perfect Okay, what else is there in the news? Um, update 7.4.1 is the most recent update, and that includes Date Night, Caballero Stronghold, Galactic Season 6. Um, we've been playing a lot of Galactic Seasons lately, been fun, and uh, we also been decorating the Copero Stronghold, and I really enjoyed Date Night when I played it the first time. Um, have a good one, DCH. Thanks so much for showing up, and thanks for the birthday wishes, and thanks for the f turtle mouse. <laughs> um, Update 7.5 is the one we're looking forward to. Just a quick check. Nope. Okay. Um, they said we'll be getting some type of news on uh, sometime in April. We are currently one third of the way through April. So probably sometime at the end of the month, we'll be getting the developer live stream showing off update 7.5. High Five wants to know, do uprising decoration drops count for the event or just ops? I've had quite a few of those in my hunt for the mounts. Ah, uh, High Five, we're actually only seeking information about operations right now. You unfortunately just missed a almost month long contest where we are gathering information about flashpoints, uprisings, and star fortresses. But right now, just operations one at a time. Oh, you got your training savers decoration, says Hele, from Five Nights of Arkan Date Night. Ah, I need to do that still, because it looks like a cool deco, those ones you can get from the romance achievements. All right, what else is going on? Um, so Teresa to Birthday Bash this is going on right now. I love this little app that I built for going through the news, by the way, so much. Um, let's see. The bounty event will be coming up in a few days on April 16th. It's a really uh, fun little event, especially because you can do it at a low level, even on a free-to-play account. 
Um, the PvP season, Season 5, is currently running. I'm having very mixed seasons about it because I haven't been able to keep up due to real life. Ah, oh, thank you guys for all the nice birthday wishes. I see you in chat. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Galactic Season, Season 6 is, six is currently running. I'm enjoying it. Keeping up with it, not having any issues, even playing more casually lately due to some IRL issues. Um, speaking of which, um, for anyone who's been following my uh, my life issues lately, uh, I've been having some health issues and some sleeping issues and some both physical and mental health issues. Um, it's been a bit of a struggle. I'm starting to get back on track again. Um, last night I slept for at least four hours and I feel well rested. So we're, we're getting back on track. I'll probably go take a, eat some food and take another nap after we're all done this. But I'm feeling feeling a lot better than I was like two weeks ago. So it's very, very good news around. Um, there wasn't any posts on the dev tracker except 14th of April. So if you're looking to transfer to the Shea Vizsla server for free, there's only two, three, two more days to do that. Uh, it looks like until April 14th at midnight time <laughs> sorry and then um someone posted about the nightmare pilgrim season point nerf and i didn't know about that it got down from eight points to from 12 points and the dev said oh it's just a mistake they'll fix it oh interesting interesting that they even changed it at all by accident uh affected says glad to hear you're back on track me too yeah thank you for the well wishes yeah studies claim tart cherry juice good for improving sleep really <laughs> That's a weird one. I I, <laughs> I have never heard that one before. Okay, I think that's the news. Um, I think I'm good to go hop in game now if you guys want to join me. I bet you a lot of you are already logged in. Let me... Uh, uh, Manteco says, could I get invited to the stronghold now to avoid the rush? No, because it's not going to be in a stronghold. It's a secret location. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to exit the stronghold. Okay. Return to Tython. Yeah, I'll do. <gasps> Wait. I just realized this character that I created for the event can't go because she doesn't have her ship. <laughs> so freaking dumb. That's okay. That's, that's okay. Well, well, um, I, I certainly made some choices here. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm gonna go on a different character. This character is the one that has all the prizes, though. So, uh, oh, this is this is awkward. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so stupid. I don't want to use a master's data cron though. I have so many. Birthday Tython Marathon? Right. I'll speed run to my ship. <laughs> Stay far faster. Well, anyways, this was my spotty outfit. I have to go on my main character now, who also has a bathing suit wimple. It'd be like that, it really is. <laughs> I don't want to do that right now. I have too much other stuff planned. Too much other stuff planned. Don't tell me to look at my mail. I don't wanna. Yeah, my mail my mailbox is full on like all of my characters, I swear, I'm sorry. You didn't specify what the stronghold invite was for, that's for you. Oh, did Zack invite you to the stronghold? That is nothing to do with the event. Good job, Zach. Well done. <laughs> okay. Um, let me see. Let me make sure this character has a bathing suit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, I do. Perfect. This is from a previous birthday. This is my favorite bathing suit on the planet of uh, Ilum, you know? Look Look at that wimple. Look at that sun hat. Beautiful. Amazing. Okay, so. Uh, I'm going to have you guys. You're gonna whisper the character named Saya. This was not the original plan. Whisper Saya to join. S C Y A Republic Side Star Forge server. You need to have your ship in the story, and you need to. Oh, I got attacked by a Sith. I'm gonna kill myself. What are you gonna do? So please whisper me S C Y A to join. Um, I'm gonna return to my center. Okay, I see a bunch of you are whispering me. Perfect, perfect. Let's see if we can get a uh, ops started. Group, convert to ops group. Awesome. So we can take as many people as we want. We will just have to likely do multiple groups. The goal is to get at least 50 people. That's the, the general goal. So we can get people to do the stronghold achievement afterwards. And if you're interested in that, just, just uh, listen for more instructions because I didn't plan that part quite as much. 
I'm just going through and inviting everyone who's whispering me. If you aren't sure how to whisper, like maybe you're new to the whisper system, what I need to know is I need to know your character name. And you can post it in either Twitch chat or YouTube chat once you are logged in and we can manually invite you. Hang on. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24. Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick out Jerbeko for a second. And then I'm, I'm gonna invite more of you. Are you guys ready for the secret location? Are you guys ready? Okay, go ahead. <laughs> and then I'll send out more invites in a minute here. The group's just full. Okay, <gasps> for those of you who, who are in the group, please press the green check mark on the top left. <laughs> Brr, no, we're not going to Elam. Heck no. Dulce says, happy birthday. Here's my monthly sub. You are a Star Wars The Old Republic legend. Through the years, you're iconic in content. Thanks for your hard work. Oh, Dolce. Dolce, thank you so much for using Amazon Prime. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the birthday gifts. Oh, Silent says on Twitch, on Twitch only, a giveaway has started for an Opal Volptilla mount. You only need to enter once. To enter, type, dude, where's my ship? All one word. All right, here is the secret location. This is where we are having our beautiful, beautiful spa day. Please uh, find a good comfy spot to sit down on. I'm gonna leave this group. Uh, but before I do, I'm gonna remove Intazar. Group, quit group. I'm gonna invite Intazar. See, we're gonna bully Intazar to help us. Okay, so if you're not already on location, <laughs> he said he would help, but I didn't he, I didn't give him any instructions beforehand. So if you want to join, please whisper Saya again. S-C-Y-A. Uh, if you didn't get in the first round. Silver Wolven, aren't you already here? Oh no, there's another character named Silver. Scruffy looking That's different. I got it. We got Rika. We got Airstax. We got Boreal. Ella J. Cybernetic Boy. Sharper Ship. Alish, <gasps> who is that? ASMR JJB. Thank you very much. Thank you for the birthday gift. Oh, you guys are all entering. Uh, oh, oh, it's Fa. It's Fa. Fa. Hey, Fa. Hey, Fa. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Fa says happy birthday. We're gonna party like it's my birthday. Hey, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Let's see. Did I get? Did I get Melody? Did I get Kalashell? No, I missed you guys. Oh well. Jerbeko, Jahora. Sarah Black. It's, it's Kara. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. I am going to send out a summon. And you guys are going to whisper somebody else this time. No, you're going to whisper me again. But Intazar, could you send out a summon? I see two more people are going to join. Int, int, may you summon? Yeah, oh my gosh. A lot of people whispered me. So if you guys uh, press that green check mark on the top left, for those of you who got invited to the second group with me and Intazar in it, green check mark, top left. Oh yeah. And I'm going to leave group. And then you guys can whisper me. Saya to join and I'm gonna go take a second. So it's gonna take me a few minutes to get you guys invited for the final round But hold tight you'll get there. I, I gotta go do something Something
Ah, yeah, that's the stuff. Oh, yeah, my favorite, my favorite spa day tropical shirt here. It's a, it's a green screen original. I got my, uh, I got my, uh, mm, vacation glasses on as well. And I got a little buddy right here who I thought could maybe, uh, keep us company. He's got a lot to say about birthdays. Yeah, I got a lot of whispers. So I'll come get the rest of you in a second. <laughs> So can we get him on the shoulder? Ah, there we go. Oh my gosh, Intizar. Do you have, are those flourishes left over from a previous birthday event? That's a while ago, so. I'm partially green screened, I know. It's because I've got a green tropical shirt on. Okay, let's get more of those invites out now. Uh, so let's see, where did we last summon? I'm just gonna go up from the bottom, so. Uh, if I already had invited you, I apologize. Okay, so Crystal Iris, Estelle, Keho, Ainsling. And if you wanted to join and you aren't already in the group, please whisper Saya to join or let me know your character name and I'll manually invite you. I think we got Sharper Shiv, right? Yes, we did. I think we got you earlier. Is there anyone else who isn't here yet? Uh, let's see. Aaron, Tama, looks like you're in a group, good. Beltalota, Sarah Black, Jahora, looks like you're good. Jerbeko, looks like you're good. Five, Yoko, well, let's get you. Melody, Kalashell, looks like you're good. <laughs> Sergeant Jeanette. Ailish, looks like you're good. Sharper Shiv, I think we got you. Cybernetic Boy, I'm just making sure. I'm just making sure. If you're already here, don't worry about it. <gasps> oh, I'm so stupid. I forgot to convert this to an ops group. I'm so dumb. I have to kick everybody out too? Oh my gosh. Horrible. See, I got too relaxed. Group, convert to ops group. Okay, let's try this again. All right, Keho, Keho, Crystal, Ainsling is already in here. Perfect. Okay, okay, okay. Aorn, Tamas, good. Beltaloda, Sarah Black, who? Jahora, looks good. Jerbeko, looks good. Five Loco, let's get you just in case. <gasps> Melody, friend. Enemy. Kalashell looks good. Identity crisis. <laughs> looks good. Sergeant Jeanette. Let's get you to try again. Um, Ailish. Looks like you're good. Sharper. We'll get you just in case. Cybernetic boy. We'll get you just in case. LJ. Looks good. <laughs> Four. Oh my gosh. Air Sax. Rika. I'm just trying to be careful. Silver. Looks good. A chassis. Cypher. I'm gonna cry if it didn't work. Okay, cool. A uh, ball point. We got two. Nice, nice, nice. Myra. Nope, not too late at all. Ba -da 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 -da. All right, all right, all right. Did you guys? Oh, congratulations! Congratulations, La Dieci. Feel free to click silent name in chat, and uh, you'll be able to message them. Congratulations. Congratulations on winning. And Silent's going to be giving stuff away like every 10 to 15 minutes. Should be pretty great. It's windy here. My game keeps kicking me out. Oh, scribbles. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. Let's see. I'm just catching up with chat. Oh, thank you guys so much for these birthday wishes. Yes, we are Republic side Starforge server. I'll give it a couple seconds or more so you guys can, can uh, get in. If you could post in chat, either Twitch chat or YouTube chat, if you are not already in this group or you're not already on location, please let me know ASAP so I know to wait for you. Um, it's, a, it's a bit of a difficult process to teleport everyone here. <gasps> Look at all the players. Look at all the players in their bathing suits. Oh, that's so awesome. That's fantastic. Let me turn off the nameplate so I can actually see you guys. Here, let's get Adepta in here. How to break Onderon. Yeah, no kidding. I'm glad we were able to figure out how to how to summon as many people as we possibly could. <laughs> booty 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 shake. 
It looks like we did get at least 50 people, which is awesome for a Friday morning. Um, I was real sad because normally I try and plan it for the weekend. So those of you who can't normally get here could make it, but it just, it just wasn't happening. Straw says, I can't run this game on my current laptop. And it's time for me to go to bed. Good night. Unfortunately, so I'll have to leave you with these well wishes. May the force be with you. Good luck to the winners. Thank you so much, Strahl. That's so so sweet of you to come by. What server? We're on the Starforge server, sheesh. But I think I'm gonna call it. Maybe maybe we can uh, figure out uh, if anyone else can invite you. Okay, okay. I'm gonna send out a summon group. Summon group via guild flagship. Yeah. All right, for those of you who are in that final group, please press the green check mark on the top left. Aww. Look at this. <laughs> That's fantastic. I like it a lot. Oh, sheesh, you're not over on the Star Wars server. Too bad for you. You were not even close, buddy. You tried. You are you are not on cue. That's okay. That's all right. You, you tried really hard. Don't worry. You know what? I was also trying something for my birthday because I had a song that I wanted to sing for you guys. Do you know? Do you know this one? Do you like pina coladas? I sing that song fairly often on stream, and and I I wanted to surprise you guys for my birthday. But I, I couldn't quite figure it out. Couldn't quite quite learn it in time at like, you know, at 3 a.m. at night. <laughs> um, but I did have something else that I learned how to do. I finally learned how to keybind. So give me just half a second here and I'll go, I'll go grab my uh, peripheral that I, <laughs> that I learned to keybind on. You like my green screen shirt? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on. Hang on. I'm gonna mute it. So I was trying to learn the Pina Colada song. I've literally never played a guitar before. We got this at a, uh, my father-in-law got um, this guitar from a garage sale for $15. And he was all excited. It came with the case and everything. Why he bought a guitar? I don't know. I think he wanted to resell it. But he didn't look very closely at it and he didn't take it out of the bag. And he missed the part where it was duct taped together. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, buddy, listen, I'll buy it from you for $13. And I did. And so now I have a, um, I have, I'm one of those people that goes from hobby to hobby to hobby. Um, so I'm happy to get a guitar for $13, even if it's a piece of crap. Um, but so I was trying to learn the guitar song for, uh, 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 you know, you know, I, I kind of got it. Are you guys ready? LL, are you ready? It's pretty bad. Oh, I wasn't even the right chord. Nope, not even close. But, so I learned classical guitars. Classical guitars. By default, they don't have the little markers for the notes. So I went online and I Googled, where, where do the little circles go? And then I realized the circles go on notes. And I realized that I actually do know notes already. And I know how to play a song now. Are you guys ready? It's very calming, relaxing music. I can't figure out how to hold the guitar though right here. This should do. giveaway look I can throw this on the floor and it doesn't matter it's already got a hole in it <laughs> a new giveaway has started <laughs> on twitch called Soterista garage band how wonderful yes Soterista had a little lamb little lamb little lamb Soterista had a little lamb 
the guitar has a hole in its side. And what, what are you giving away, Silent? I think I missed that. Uh, Silent is giving away a, oh, uh, 450 cartel coins so you can go buy your own garage band. <laughs> All right. It looks like everyone is physically here at this point. Um, I hope you enjoyed uh, my beautiful serenade for you guys. That's a, that's a whole uh, hour's worth of work of learning the guitar there. <laughs> Thank you for the birthday wishes, everybody. Um, so I was wondering if you guys wanted to uh, go to the edge of the pool and face inwards and we can make a big circle. I'll, I'll yell it in chat here. Uh, go to the edge of the pool in the water and face the center of center of the pool. <laughs> I do like uh, who's I was going to ask who's going around in a pirate ship. It is your birthday. But it's also, that. I love this shirt. Even being keyed out, it's lively and joyous. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Andy. I like it a lot too. It's it's definitely more colorful um not not green screened out though, which is pretty fun. See like this, this little guy is having a rough time. He he's uh, he keeps falling down. He's uh, maybe he he had a little too much pina coladas, I think. Oh, there you go. There you go. You guys are getting the general concept here. Let's see, who's in the center there? Voriali? Do you want to go to the edges? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a little, little picture of you guys. Oh, here we go. Okay, ready? We need to find like a good waterfall. I think there was one nearby. We need somewhere where we can be like, uh, let's see, what would be a cool background? Do you guys want to just take a proper group photo where we're all uh, all together there? Do you guys want to come near me and face the same direction as me? I'm on the character Saya. I'm jumping up and down. I'm in a little blue uniform. And then I'm going to show on screen what the photo is going to be. So make sure your character is somewhere, somewhere in here. Look at this. That's so fun to watch. Oh my gosh, Orion Snake. Thank you so much for the birthday gift. Orion has gifted five subs to the channel, aka supporting the project, aka give me sweet, sweet birthday loot. If your name is Anastasia, Squeeby, Stoned, or Happy Monster, or Vixrel, feel free to say big thank you to Orion Snake, who's been around for this project for a long time as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you haven't already, type Subtree to GarageBand and Twitch, all one word, and that is... Uh, uh, for the giveaway. You only got, got to do it once. Look how many of you there are. Look at you all. Did you all get in the picture? I see y'all. Oh, oh, I see you. I think you're all here. I see Zach jumping up and down. I'm going to try to time it so he's, uh, actually in the picture. Nice. There we go. I think we got it. Oh, look at them sprinkles. <laughs> Beautiful. Amazing. I love it. Thank you guys so much. I love having you here for my birthday. It's just so wonderful. It's perfectly splendid. All right. I think we're done goofing off here. I think we're done goofing off here. We've got work to do. We've got work to do, people. And you better stay in your bathing suits because where we're going, you might need them. No, that's a joke. Okay, so what we're going to try and do is we're going to attempt to help other people with their stronghold achievement we are not going to use the stronghold invite function so please do not invite anyone to your stronghold holy crap shelby freaking thank you very much if everyone could please travel to the fleet it's okay if we don't wind up in the same fleet please please start traveling to the F republic fleet i'm using my uh travel pass but you can use whatever method you want and we're going to head to the strongholds and crew skills section. It's fine if we don't wind up on the same instance. Shelby, you are so freaking nice. Thank you. If your name is Crotastar, Old Man with Glasses, Flora and Fauna, Spock Obama, Wuchi, Arctic Knight, Shady, <laughs> Xerax, Angelus, or Cirola, feel free to say thank you to Shelby who's been supporting this, this thing for a very, very long time now. Um, let me... Let me um, say some of my favorite Shelbyisms that I've heard her say. Pizza, the size of a tortellini. Mother. What other ones do we got? I can't think of any others off the top of my head. Most of them are food related. 
<laughs> Mel <Mewel> Biba, activate! <laughs> Thank you, thank you very much, Shelby. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, let's see. Um, so, is there anyone who has a stronghold that has the capacity to hold at least 50 people and would like to get the achievement and doesn't already have it? So, if you would like to, you need to post in Twitch chat which stronghold you have. So, which location? Ideally, one on the fleet. And what your character, like your your stronghold name is, so it'll say like uh, Saya's Retreat of Silence. So please give me the full full name. So we're gonna go start with Robins, and she's actually been sharing her stronghold for other reasons too. Let's see. So we're all gonna go to the strongholds and crew skills section of the fleet. So for the Republic side, that's gonna be in the top left of the map. Oh yeah, we did get separated out, didn't we? And we're gonna go to the Alderaan Stronghold. Alderaan Stronghold. And we're gonna look for, I think yours is on like the second page, right? Robin's Temple of Light, right? <laughs> if not, this is awkward. Robin's Temple of Light. So go to the second page and we're all gonna travel to Robin's Temple of Light. Fingers crossed. Let's see if we can figure out how to do this. I'm gonna try to go in order of what you guys posted, but forgive me if I don't. Oh, Heidi wants to go. Heidi, Heidi, let me know uh, which which stronghold location. Like, is it Alderaan, Tatooine? Which one? Coruscant. Is there still the bug? Where? Still, oh, I missed the chat, I'm sorry. Is there still the bug where sometimes the stronghold directory closes your game? Oh, I think they fixed it that. <laughs> so it looks like, so is Zoija Robin? Is Zoija Robin? Okay, it looks like we managed to get 25 people in here so far. Did anybody else want to come? Robin, you let me know if the other one pops up. Let's see. Can you guys line up on the bridge and we'll count you? Here, uh, uh, hang on, hang on. I'll, I'll make, I'll start the line. I'll start the line on the bridge. Uh, okay, behind me. It's, it's, I'm jumping up and down in a wimple on the character Saya. How do we get there? You're going to go to the strongholds and crew skills section of the Republic fleet. Um, so if you don't know how to get there, press your little emergency fleet pass, you know, however you get to the fleet. Oh, this is, all is it getting there? No, not quite yet. Um, the strongholds and crew skills section of the fleet. Look for the Alderaan stronghold terminal. And we're go gonna go to Robin's Temple of Light. You know what? What I can do? I have an idea. Hang on. Patrick! Thank you so much, Pat. Oh my gosh, I want to show you share your your art that you did later. I gotta remember. Let's see. Let's see. Robin's Temple of Light, Alderaan Stronghold. Can I do this? Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. And then uh, outline. And then a uh, pen. And then. Uh, that one. <laughs> da, 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 da. 46 we're getting there lagging a bit yeah i'm not surprised <laughs> okay so i'm gonna leave so i can show how to do this again so if you haven't already uh if you're not in here if you're in here stay here don't move Use your emergency fleet pass. Oh my gosh, 49. Maybe I should just not leave. Okay, so go to the fleet. You're going to head to the top left. Oh yeah. Someone said drunk so in chat. I am not drunk. It is too early for that. I started stream at 8 a.m. But I did. I did get myself some fresh clothes and orange juice, which is very awkwardly being green screened out. So the strongholds and crew skills section of the fleet on the top left. 
You're going to press the Alderaan Stronghold. It's the blue one with the castle. And you're going to go to Robin's Temple of Light. Um, she has 41,000 points if that's useful if you sort by prestige. Robin's Temple of Light. And then we're going to try and travel, travel around. Hmm. <laughs> Escape, thanks for the happy birthday wishes. Happy birthday, me! Oh, Robin says she got it. Awesome. Okay. New instructions. Everybody leave. And press exit area. Exit area. And return to Republic Fleet. Exit area. Return to Republic Fleet. So what is happening right now is we're trying to do an achievement. And the achievement can only occur when you have 50 people in your stronghold. This is a fairly difficult achievement to get because 50 people is a lot of people. You can only even have 24 people in a group normally. So you kind of have to like organize everyone to do it. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, 50 other people, including yourself. So 51 total, right? Um, so uh, let's see, who are we gonna do next? I'm gonna try and do my best to go in order. We have plenty of time though, so we don't have to stress too much. Uh, let's see. What did we do next? Let's go help Helle out. We're gonna go to Alderaan, and it's gonna be Club Helleboro Arts. Let's see if I can find it first. Oh, it's right, the very top one. Club Helleboro's Pursuit of Peace. So that's gonna be the next one to go to. The very first one on the top of the list, because because they've got the longest list ever. Uh... Club Helleboro. Hellebora? Hellebora? You'll, you'll forgive me for pronouncing it really badly, right? Happy birthday, says I bear bear back. Thank you very much. Here we go. I, I like how it still says zero out of 70. <laughs> so will the Tatooine house work for the 50 achievement for 50? Yes, if, uh, if you have all of the Tatooine stronghold unlocked, you should be good. Uh, I think the ones that don't work are Republic and Imperial Fleet, Manon, Meksha, and Umbara. So the kind of physically smaller ones. Da -da -da. Ba -da. Ba -da. Happy birthday, Smelly. Hi, nice to see you again. Thank you very much. And Helle, you're going to have to scream when you get it. And if you want to be useful... Tell us how many you're at. Tell us how many you're at. So we can kind of get an idea of how many more people we need to bully to join. Or if we're done. Copero doesn't work? Yeah, Copero's too baby as well. Happy birthday, it says Erisive. Thank you very much. 48? Oh my gosh. Oh, you're, you're like somewhere else entirely on the stronghold. That's funny. So if you miss the instructions, head to... The Republic Fleet, go to the Alderaan Stronghold, go to the stronghold called Club Helleboro. It should be at the top of the list and click travel. So you need a, oh, Don, oh, that's a good question. So yeah, I guess you would need, does a stronghold count yourself as being a one occupancy? <laughs> I don't know if it counts you. I'm not entirely sure actually. Because, yeah, the Corsant Stronghold has an occupancy of 50. So you have to hit 51. Oh, that sucks. So if you have Corsant and Dromacos, it doesn't work. Bleh. Hele, did it work? Hele says, got it. Woo, everybody exit area. Nice. Good job, everybody. You guys are doing great so far. And I got I got a prize for you at the end. That's pretty... Oh, I just exited to Alderaan. Exit to the Republic Fleet. To the Republic Fleet. Exit to the Republic Fleet. Next up... Uh, I'm not going in order anymore. I give up. I'm sorry. Um, we're going to go to a no choose. A no choose stronghold. A no choose stronghold. <laughs> yeah, so... Coruscant and Dromacos fit 50 people. So can you invite enough to make it work? If you need 51. 
Okay, the next one we're gonna go to is Anochu's Anochu. I'm trying to find your message again. Because I know you posted over on YouTube. Um, and then you came and posted over here. Mine is third on the list on Nakachak Quest. Is it also Alderaan then too? Uh, Sotor Camino, aka friend from YouTube. I'm a kind of an idiot and I accidentally <laughs> left. Oh, so Narshada can fit 52? Ooh, let's see. Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna work then. It's a kind of a mystery. I guess we'll find out, huh? Okay, so we're gonna go to Onak Chalk Quest Stronghold. Uh, Onak Chalk Quest Garden of Stillness on Alderaan. Oh my gosh, I'm laughing so hard because I thought it said Onak Chalk Quest Garden of Silliness. <laughs> I was like, yeah, perfect. Perfect name. I love it. So that's Alderaan Stronghold too. Okay, there we go. And Ona, if you could, uh, and Sotor Kamina, could, if you could keep us posted on what the count is, that would be awesome. Ona Chocolate Quest, you got it. Oh, Ona Chocolate Quest, oh! Oh my gosh, I got it, delicious. Ona Chocolate Quest. All right, I see you're at 42, but that counts, that count is a bit funky, the one that shows up there. Mmm, oh, sour. Mmm, but I like it. Da -da -da. Oh, this poor little pork. This poor little, I can't, I can't get him to, to just, you know, but I was wondering, could he, so it's magnetic, right? Could I, I don't know if it'll be strong enough to go through there. No, no, he's not. <laughs> Anna chocolate quest. Okay, how we doing? How we doing, Anna? How we doing, Camino? How we doing, uh... <laughs> oh, no chocolate quest. So the way you would check is you would open your strongholds panel and you would see what the count is in your stronghold. Coruscant works. The owner can always enter even if the stronghold is full. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. So they could leave and come back. Awesome. Got it. Camino says, check in. Will says, I'm late. I'm happy to volunteer. My Narshadoth stronghold. It fits 50. Oh, this is, that's not how this works. You don't volunteer. In this case, we're doing you a favor. <laughs> yeah. Bam. Okay. Exit area. Return to Republic Fleet. Return to Republic Fleet. Do not return to exit to Alderaan like I did because I'm an idiot. Okay, so next up, we're going to do Narshada. We're going to do, it looks like next is Jessa Nark Narshada. We'll see if it has any specific name. Jessa is also a, a frequent guest of the channel, often tanking for us. So Nar Shada Stronghold is a little, little bit over, little bit over here. Public listings. Jessa, if you don't have yours listed, I'm gonna scream. How do I find it? Jessa Nark Stronghold, it's about on the third page for me. About on the third page for me, she's got 100,000 prestige points, so that's helpful. So just an arc stronghold, third page, travel. So if you guys want to join us, by the way, it would be really awesome. All you have to do is head to the Republic or Imperial fleet. Oh, did I not? Oh, I didn't update the text, my bad. Let's try it again. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to get 50 people at once in these strongholds. And we I have gifts for you guys at the end of, in the next 20 minutes. In the next 20 minutes, I'll start handing out gifts. Okay, so I do, Jessa, I need you to keep track. Uh, keep, us, keep us posted in chat. Is this pimp my stronghold? Not today. Maybe, actually sort of. But not this event right here. Well, sort of. 44, 44. So if we can get six more people to join. 
Jackson says, with this lag, I'll always be the last one to get to the stronghold. That is okay, because we're going for account, not speed. We're going for quantity, not quality. <laughs> Carlos says, wait for me. Yeah, we're just trying to get to 50. We're just trying to get to 50, so we'll, we'll, we're happy to have you, even if you're a little slow. <laughs> What's the count, Tessa? 46. We only need four more. How many more people can we bribe to come along? Do you guys want to know what the prize is? Do you guys want to know what the prize is? I have at least... I have enough for everybody. Who's helped with this? I have Odie. Thank you very much. Odie says, uh, may all your dreams come true. Happy birthday, Odie. Thank you so much. It's nice to see you just after we raided you yesterday too. Hi, hi, hi. I have, is it this one? <laughs> is this the spa day one? Yes. To celebrate spa day, I have bought like 80 copies of these when it was on sale. So everybody who attends will be getting a luxury resort decoration bundle. It's one of my favorite bundles in the game. It's got some really beautiful decorations um, that are especially good for like the Copero or Alderaan Stronghold. So we're still only at 46. Oh my gosh. Well, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? We need four more. We need four more. I need to... So if you come, you can get one of these. Star Force server Republic side. We're at 47. Awesome. You need to head to the go go bug a friend and tell them to come online and help. <laughs> you can't find it on the list. It'll be Narshada Jessa Nark. It'll be on the third page. Page three. It's like a hundred thousand give or take. Prestige points. But we have to do the prizes at the end because they're stuck on my other character, which is really awkward. <laughs> She's only level one, so she can't travel to the fleet. <laughs> Fail to load content classification? What's that? Oh, we're at 48. We're at 48. We're at 48. We're at 48, people. 49. 49. Oh my gosh. Have fun walking the bogs. dogs. We'll see you soon, Helle. I think Helle's already got one of these, so she'll be fine. <laughs> Montego, thank you very much. Stay on target. Montego, thank you, thank you, thank you. If your name is Sash, Crumpo, Whammo, Juno, or Pras, feel free to say thank you to Montego, who I will actually be seeing soon. I'm very excited. Yeah, thank you. Where do we need to come for spa day? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna instruct. 50! Jessa, did you get it or do you need 51? Or do you still need one more? Is there still place at the end of the stronghold line? Yes. You got it. Okay, everybody exit area. And yes, so those of you who are who are just coming in, please still join us. Exit, return to Republic Fleet. This ain't Fallout. <laughs> is the new giveaway code on Twitch. Uh, if you type it in there, you'll get a chance to win. What is Silent giving away here? Silent is giving away a Mandalorian heavy jetpack. Hey, Silent, I don't know if you know how to do this. Let's see, can I do it from here? Oh, I can't because you're also a moderator, but I think you can pin your message if you want. You can you can give it a shot. I'm uh, struggling to do it to your message because you're a moderator, lol. <laughs> okay, so which one are we gonna do next? I'm gonna scroll up and chat the best I can. Give me a second here. Okay, let me see if I can find ciphers really fast. Nar Shada Sky Palace for Cypher in the House Stronghold. Hang on. Sky Palace. Cypher in the House. Let's see if I can find it. Do you have it listed? I don't see it, Cypher. Doesn't mean it's not there, it's just that I don't see it. Has to be a Republic side. It's real funky. I'm having trouble because a lot of the messages are like scrolled up too far and I can't see them anymore. 
Palace Shell's Hideout. Narshada is another one. Let's see if we can find Palace Shell. Sorry, I know this is kind of awkward. I'm doing the best I can. Palace Shell. I should have, like, requested information before the stream started. That would have made things easier. Oh, maybe I need to reload it. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, Cypher says I can't have visitors as I don't have a 10,000 prestige. I didn't know that was a thing. Well, learned, learned my lesson, I guess. Let's see if I can find Kalashell. I wonder if Kalashell has a similar problem. I just blitzed it up to 10,000. Okay, someone else just did that too. Trying to find Kala shells, but I'm I'm struggling. Kala shell, if you're still here, help me help me out here. Tell me if you see it on the list. <laughs> this is going so good. No, it's going so bad. Kala shell is there. Okay, but where? Fifty-four k prestige. Okay, Let's see if I can find it. Ah, okay. We're gonna go to page three. About halfway down, Kalashell's hideout, Narshada stronghold. For those of you who are just coming in, what I want you to do is I want you to go to the Republic Starforge server fleet, the Republic fleet, and I want you to go to the strongholds and here, hang on, strongholds and crew skills section right here. You're gonna go look for the little terminals. The little stronghold terminals, and we are currently going to the Nar Shada one. Nar Shada, and we're looking for Kalashell. One, two, three. Kalashell's hideout and travel. Uh, Kalashell has about 54,000 prestige points. So, what we're doing is we're doing a stronghold achievement that has you have 50 people visiting your stronghold at once. Oh, Don Polyon! Don Polyon, haven't you won like a billion things? You're super rigged. <laughs> I didn't know it have a. Uh, I didn't know it had to have ten thousand prestige to be a public listing. Um, if you hustle cipher, you might be able to like slap down enough decoration to have ten thousand. Okay, so Kalashell, keep us uh, keep us informed on your count. Click the strongholds. Uh, this is for Kalashell. Click the strongholds and tell us what the occupancy is and keep us updated. <gasps> We're at 48. Holy cow. Almost there, if not already there. And I've got some really great prizes for everyone who makes it till the end. For another like 15 minutes or so. Mick the Stick says, love the makeup. Thank you. Oh, blue triangle above lifts the strongholds with a filter for occupancy. Oh, 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 yeah. I think it's automatically filtered by number of prestige. Oh, I see. You could sort it by occupancy to find it really fast if there's a ton of people in it. 50! Okay, everybody, exit area, return to Republic Fleet. Exit area, return to Republic Fleet. If you're not here yet, don't don't go anywhere. Just hold tight. Okay, so who's going to be next? Uh, I know... Okay, I've completely lost the original order. I'm going to try to go to... Rama keeps messaging me, I think. I'm going to attempt. I'm going to attempt. So if you're not here yet, go to Republic side Starforge server. Oh, Dan says Starforge is not my main server. Yeah, I'm sorry. So Starforge server, Republic side, Rometta. I think... We're, oh, it's R Rometta who's been trying to go. Hang on. Rometta said theirs was near Cali's, right? Okay, we're gonna go, the next one we're gonna go to is also a Narshada stronghold. It is Rometa's Black Market at 68,000 prestige. So page three, Rometa's Black Market. Eh. Rometa's, oh, don't mind all my funny caps. It's okay, I just have a little caps lock problem here. There we go. Don Polyon says mine's right above that one. Which one? Which one is uh, Don Polyon? What is your your uh, stronghold full name? K 
character name and everything. So I'm heading to Rometta's now. Happy birthday, Sis Cookie Crust. Thank you very much. Yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying actually looking around them because we're doing the achievement. We don't have a lot of time to actually like stop and look, unfortunately. We're trying to go fast. Thank you. Yeah, thank you guys for posting your strongholds. Unfortunately, because the Twitch chat is going so fast because the giveaways, it's a bit funky. So, uh, Rometta, please keep us posted at your count. For your count. I don't, I don't, I wish there was a way for me to check myself, but I don't think there is. Rometta says, thank you, everyone. But did you get it yet? <laughs> <laughs> So Teresa needs to do a tour of Zach's party train. Maybe we have leftover time. Okay, we're at 42. We're at 42. So if you're not already here, you're going to head to the Republic or Imperial Fleet. Uh, sorry, the Republic Fleet on the Starforge server. Go to the Narshada Strongholds terminal. Go to the public listings. Go to page three and you're looking for Rometa's Narshada Stronghold. Just Dog says, happy birthday, sisters. I've been watching for years. Have a great day. And I have some great prizes in the end. But we have to hustle. We have to get as many people in as we can first. <laughs> yeah, but Matrix, we're not really showing off today. We're just trying to get the achievements. So we're trying to shuffle through. Rometa, how are we doing here? How many more people do I need to bully? <laughs> on a Friday morning on a weekday. Hopefully we're getting close to 50. 42 still? Oh no, did we lose enough people that uh, we can't do it anymore? If so, that's a bummer. It says Rometta's at 50. Rometta, are you sure you're at, at uh, 42? It says it's full. So because this stronghold is capped at 50, does Rometta need to leave so someone else can come in and then come back? Oh, it won't let me travel because it's full. Rometta? <laughs> Rometta says 50. Did you get the achievement? Did you get the achievement? Rometta needs to leave. Rometta says sweet. I'm just waiting for a confirmation before I kick everybody out. Yes, slash, no. <laughs> um. Oh, they might have physically left. Oh, my Lanta. Hang on here. Romet. Okay, Rometta went to the fleet, so I'm going to say they got it. Everybody exit area, return to Republic fleet. Okay, looks like we're good. Looks like we're good. Throw a party, but don't attend it. Right, if you're in the Narshada stronghold, it can only fit 50. Yep, you can't. 50 other people besides yourself. Okay, let's go to Dino's next. Let's go to Dino Sex. And luckily I have more I have more gifts than we have uh, people attending. So everybody who's helping should should get a gift. If not, I'll get you one uh, down the line. Um so we're gonna go to Dino's. Let's see if we can find Dino's. Uh Zocha says, Can I get can you mail Nessa the deco pack? Nessa, can you uh Robin, can you message me on Discord? I can. Let's see if we can find Dino's. Dino, help me out here. I know you posted it earlier, but repost it if you can. Dino hideout. Oh, on Tatooine. On Tatooine. Let's go take a look. On the other side. Um, Dino time. Ah, okay. Dino's hideout on Tatooine. And it's on the opposite side on the second page. Dino's hideout. There better be some bones there. Some Dino bones. Dad doing stronghold. Okay. So Dino's hideout. And Dino, 
Dino, you can only hold 50 people in here, so don't come in. You can join after you get the achievement or, or until it fills up. Yeah, don't go to my house. I don't need this achievement. I got it already. Yes, Carlos, right now the giveaways are only uh, for Twitch because it's hard to it's hard to manage both. But if you're attending the event here, you'll be getting a prize no matter what. Full already? Dang! Did you get the achievement, Dino? Got it? Okay, everybody exit area. Return to Republic Fleet. Look at you guys go. Okay, we're going to go to... Uh, let's see. Let's go to Captain Thornblow's Restful Retreat on Tatooine next. See if we can find it. Let's see if I can find that one. It is... I'm trying to look with my eyeballs. I just read it out too. Captain Thornblow's Restful retreat on Tatooine. Okay, Captain Hornblows. Hornblows restful retreat. First page, Captain Hornblows restful retreat on Tatooine. Head on over. And uh, uh, Garmar, if you're not already in there, stay out. Stay out of your stronghold or get out <laughs> if you're in there. Um, I, I saw Robin say something about Melody's stronghold. Melody, were you trying to get the achievement? I couldn't couldn't tell. But yeah, yeah, yeah. If you guys don't make it into a specific stronghold, but you're looking for a prize, don't worry. You'll, we'll just be handing out the prizes at the end. Okay, how are we doing? How are we doing, um, Garmer? Yeah, get out of here, Garmer. Get out of your own house. But let us know uh, the count as soon as you can. Hey there, Horizon Hunter. We're on the Starforge server, and we're doing Republic side right now. And then I'm going to try to go next to Sienna Pines, who had whispered me, if I remember. <laughs> so Garmer is probably loading into the fleet and trying to figure out what their count is right now. Yeah, right now I'm uh, Robert. We're not doing uh, uh, stronghold viewings. I'm just trying to go as fast as possible so I can get to the next event. Bum, ba -dum, bum. How's our count? Garber! 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 <laughs> Bueller. Bueller. Is Starforge more populated than the other North American servers to deal Sean? I think it is. Well, right now we're having a special event, so I don't think it's a very good example of anything. <gasps> Are, did you guys turn into huts while we're waiting? Are you so yeah, I, I see a lot of you have been messaging me. I'm doing the best I can to get through them. The faster you guys can get me a count, the better it is. The the faster we can go. Da -da 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 -da. I just have no way of seeing um whether there's fifty people or not. I think Garmer fell down a well. Did we get 50? <laughs> oh, I'm so sad. Do you think they'll ever merge the two servers? I don't know, to be honest. But in the meantime, a giveaway has started for Opal Vilptilla Mount. If you only need to enter once, to enter type, where's my Babu Frick? Where's my Babu Frick? Garmer says it's on the page is 50, but I haven't gotten an achievement yet. Do you already have the achievement? Just to make sure. Um, you would go legacy. Legacy. Um, is there a strongholds achievement? Strongholds. General stronghold. Bringing down the house. Where's my bubble frick? I'm gonna say there's probably 50 people in here. Hut Girl Summer, please exit area. Exit area, return to Republic Fleet. I almost said return to Republic Freak. And we're gonna attempt to go to Narshada Stronghold. And I can't remember the name. I did it. 
This is just a Sasu remote. Where's my Babu Frick? Who's Babu Frick anyway? Where's Babu Frick? Why is Babu Frick? Da, 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 da. Let's see. It was Sienna Pina's Black Market on Nar Shada. So on the opposite side of Tatooine. Let's see if we can find Sienna Pina. Sienna Pina's Black Market. It'll be at the end of the second page or the top of the third page. Sienna Pina's Black Market. They have about 72,000 prestige. Ba -da 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 -da. Do you guys mind if we go for like another 10 minutes? I think I saw about three or four more uh, strongholds posted that we'll attempt to do. And then I can get those those prizes out. Da -ba -da -ba. Hmm. 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 Garmer, I wonder why yours didn't work. Because your stronghold was full and you, I think you had left, right? Unless you were in there. If you were physically in there and you didn't actually leave, then that would have broken it. Um, so... Please, Sienna Pina. What is your count? If you press strongholds tab. If you could whisper me back, that'd be awesome. Where's my bubble frick? Uh, Flora, yeah, you should probably post again at this point. Unfortunately, the chat rolled so fast it like deleted a bunch of them. We're at 47. Okay, we're almost there for Sienna Pina's Black Market Stronghold on the second or third page of the Narshada Stronghold. Update Kim. We'll see, Garmer. We'll see how we're doing. We'll see if we can uh, uh, get you after. <gasps> what was that? Oh, G Pain. Hey, nice to see you. <gasps> 48. 48. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Sienna Pina that starts with a C Y A. Black Market Narshada Stronghold. 49? Oh my goodness. Sienna Pina, if you're in here, you need to get out. Make sure you get out. Dun, 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 dun. See if we can. We're going to look for Sienna Pina and yell at them if we see them. <laughs> Who? Cyan. They're in the fleet. Good. Good job, Sienna Pina. Three, two, one. Oh, Rosie, congratulations. Nice, congrats. Are we at 50? Yet? Hi, says Creataria. Does anyone know when the next double XP boost is? No, we don't know. We don't know, unfortunately. 50, thank you. Nice, did you get the achievement? Did you get the achievement? Garmar, can you tell me what your your stronghold name was again? I want to double check that Sienna Pina actually got it. So it'd be under Legacy. Strongholds, pretty far down. And it's this little green Pina Colada one <laughs> called Bringing Down the House. G-Pain says, happy birthday. Thank you. G-Pain says, hi, Mr. Teresa. I hope you're doing great today. Sorry for waiting and running, but I need to catch me some dinner. Play our GoPro. Have fun and keep up the great work. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to tell everyone to leave, and hopefully Sienna Pina can uh, confirm or deny. Sienna Pina says, seems not. I wasn't in it, though. No idea why. Oh, no. So is the Narshada stronghold cursed if two people in a row didn't get it? I did see one weird thing. I did see that 
Crystal Iris is a different color? Oh, that's because they're in my group. That doesn't mean anything at all. I'm so sorry. I wonder why it didn't work. I wonder if it's because Jackson 5 wasn't fully loaded in or something like that. Do they need to get into the stronghold while 50 people are in there? Uh, maybe don't exit area yet. Let me go back in. Let me go back in and we'll try and get... Um, see if uh, forcing... Sienna Pina to go back in will help too. Da -da 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 -da. That's so sad. I wonder, it has to, something to do with the fact that it can hold, only hold 50, but that should be fine. Oh, there's only an occupancy of 28. Amaranda, is Gigawatt your character? Or is it just one that you like? I'm going to try and go back in and see what happens. Yeah, I also got out. Maybe it's not fully unlocked? Yeah, you would have to actually be able to hold 50. But we, I think we had 50 people in here, though. And it still didn't count. Check your capacity, folks. Out of 50 is the requirement. No, no, no. They, uh, they have it fully unlocked. That wasn't the issue. 50 people were physically in here. Physically, digitally? Yeah, it's fully unlocked. This is not the issue. I'm just gonna have to ban the Narshada stronghold because apparently it's broken. Rometa, Rometa didn't get it either. Oh, this stronghold's just freaking cursed. Yeah, we did the thing with the owner and that wasn't the issue either. Okay, I'm really sorry. Apparently Narshada and Tat Rometa, were you on Tatooine? Dang, what the heck? Bioware, are you wasting my life? Uh, look at the guide and double check which ones are over 50. Over 50. In the meantime... In the meantime, we're going to go to a player who said they had a Yavin 4 stronghold. I'm going to do my best. Uh, like I said, I don't even know what order people have been posting in. I know Flora posted one. Let's see if I can get it. Flora Fauna. Oh, it's impossible to go through Twitch messages. Where's my Babu Frick? I can't. I can't even find it. If you guys could post yours again, I'm so sorry. I know this is like 15 times. Okay, Intazar's hideout on Rishi. We're gonna go to Rishi. We're gonna go to Intazar's house. Rishi is on the... I don't know where the hell Rishi is. Um, Rishi's on the opposite side again beside Tatooine. It's got a blue planet. We're gonna go to Intazar's hideout on Rishi. It'll be on the right hand side. I'm so cranky. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ah. So it'll be Rishi, Yavin, Alderaan. Stronghold's comparison table. So stupid. Rishi, Yavin, Alderaan. That's it. And there's a bunch of other ones that should work but aren't. So cursed. Cranky! So yeah, unfortunately, if you guys want to join in on this, um, it should be faster now that we know what the heck's wrong. But, means I can't help a bunch of people. Rishi. Cranky! Cranky, cranky, cranky. <laughs> um, it is our yell. It is our yell when you got it. 48? Okay, almost there. So we're looking for Intazar's hideout on the Rishi terminal. It's weird because Tatooine worked at 50 as well, but not too Narsh at all. Well, Rometa, Rometa came back and said that they didn't actually get the achievement. Um, but I can't remember which stronghold Rometa had. Got it! Okay, exit area, return to Republic Fleet. Sorry, Sienna Pina. Next, we're going to go to... Uh, so, Amaranda, I think... What is... 
Gigawatts game room. Is if it's on Narshada, it's not gonna work, unfortunately. Uh, next we'll go to hopefully Flora reposts. I'm so sorry. Or was it Fauna? We'll go to Aorn Koot Fen's Temple of Light on Yavin. So it's a different terminal. So Yavin, it'll be the greenish one in the center. Uh, Aaron Koot Fen's Temple of Light. Let's see if we can find you. Yes, it'll be near the end. Near the very end. Uh, A A O R N Koot Fen's Temple of Light. On the second page near the end, yeah. Yes, Amaranda, for whatever reason, the Narshada one's just not working. We're not sure why, even if it's fully unlocked. Yeah, Rosie, I'm glad you're able to win something. That's awesome. Yes, and we're certain that the owner was not inside. The owner of the second time around didn't even, like, enter at all. Remeda says Narshada did not work for me. So apparently Narshada's, like, cursed. I'm really sorry. Okay, how we doing, um, Aaron, A-A Aaron, A-A-R-A-R-A-R-A-R-A-R-A-R-A-R-A-R-A-R-A-R-A-R-A-R-A-R-A-R-A-R-A-R-A-R-A-R-A-R-A-R-A-R-A-R-A-R-A-R-A-
So for anyone who's wondering what to do, head to the Republic Fleet on the Starforge server. Go to the Strongholds and Crew Skills section. And then you're going to go look for the stronghold that we're at right now. So right now it's Victory Arata's Chamber of Deception on the Rishi Terminal. You have to kind of flip through the pages till you see it. I believe theirs is on the second page. Where we at, Flora? Where we at? Keep me posted. You guys got some nice outfits though running around looking at y'all. Yeah, some of these strongholds are not very decorated because we're just trying to do the achievement today. It's not necessarily ones that they're trying to show off. Where are we at, Flora? 47. Oh my gosh, three more. Three more people visiting. <laughs> almost there, almost there. Almost there. Oh my gosh. Where are we at, Flora? I hope expansion is fully decorated. Just can't change the load-in zone for you. Oh, is that um the little area upstairs? We would just have to like run there manually. <laughs> Got it. Okay, exit area. Exit area, return to Republic Fleet. The next one is going to be Azerafira's Yavin 4. Wow. There you go. Uh, Silas says, I want to see an old school conquest stronghold, 100% full of metal chairs and meat trees. Oh my god. I kind of missed that because it was so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to Yavin 4 next. We're going to Azafira's. As we're, look we're looking for the green terminal in the center. Azafira is... Let's see if we can find it. I'm going to cry if not. Very last one. Just hit 10,000 prestige. Jackie says, hi, chat. Where? Where? Oh, <gasps> Jackie on her Jackie account. Hey, Sodrisa, I'm traveling, but I wanted to say happy birthday, and I hope the celebrations are going wonderfully. Hi, Jackie. I got, I got, I got, I got, I got. Hi, Jackie. In case she can't hear me in voice chat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for all the codes. Um, people have been really enjoying winning them. And thanks so much for sending them so promptly. I really appreciated it because we, we were like, there was only a few days before. Um, we have our friend Silent is like actually volunteered to give them all away. Thank you. Have a, have a good trip. Bye. Have a good trip. Thanks so much for stopping by. So for those of you not familiar, Jackie is the Star Wars The Old Republic Community Manager. So she actually works for SOTOR. And she helped get us the codes to give away for this event. Cypher? Cypher, you won? What the heck? Okay, how we doing? How we doing, Azafira? What's our count? What codes? The codes that we're giving away uh, throughout the day. Someone just won one right now in, in Twitch chat. Rootless says, happy birthday. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Zyver! Zyver, what's next? Do I see 51 on the board? I don't know! Did they get the achievement? Got it! Okay, everybody, exit area, return to Republic Fleet. Next up is gonna be Sar mm, Sarma mm, Sarmalon's Alderaan Noble Estate, the last listing. Oh, did you pull two? Did you pull two winners, Silent? If so, that's awesome. If that was a whoopsie, just a warp both. <laughs> da -da -da -da. So Sarmalon's Alderaan Noble Estate. So the Alderaan Terminal, which is not the one we were just at. It's just one to the left. So it's in the center right here. It's the blue one. I know there's a billion people right now. It makes it hard to hard to move around. Um, and we're looking for Sarmalons, which will be at the very end there. Also just hit 10,000. What are you giving away and when? Thanks. You'll have to pay attention to chat, Alex. Uh, and listen to my voice. You're giving stuff away like every 10, 15 minutes. 
Hey, Track Cuff. Thank you very much. Thank you for the happy birthday and thanks for the birthday gift. Thank you. Yeah, okay, listen. Are we the ones who caused Alderaan to be destroyed? Because we kept visiting? I think it had something to do with it. Okay, how we doing? What's our count at? Sarbalarbalarbalon. 45? Keep going, keep going. If you guys could post it in chat, either chat is fine, Twitch or YouTube, rather than whisper me, it's a, a little easier because then I can copy paste it. Oh, Don Polyon, you got another one ready? Awesome. Is Jackie going to the Bahamas? Does she like pina coladas? I think so. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Kieran Wynn. I was like trying to type yours manually. Okay, what are, how are we doing? How are we doing, John Zobra? 48? Okay, almost there. Almost there. I'm gonna stop at the top of the hour so I don't get, don't get too overwhelmed with doing only this. Emperor Hux says, how do we get visitors to our stronghold? It's a whole thing. Um, and if you'd like to learn more about that, uh, if you wait about 20 minutes, I can give you a little guide. We're good. Okay, exit area. Return to Republic Fleet. Next is going to be Vala Asolda's Imperial Sanctuary on Alderaan. Yeah, I'll try, and try, I'll try and get through the ones that were posted here. We, uh, we got really slowed down by the fact that it was broken. And we had to waste a bunch of time. That was unfortunate. I have a good one, Ella J. Okay, so Vala Asolda's Imperial Sanctuary on Alderaan. Where is that one going to be? Vala, Vala, Vala. Vala, Vala, Vala. Um, it'll be at the end of the first page or the top of the second page. Let's see if I can do that. And by the way, Emperor Hux, you mentioned both factions. Just so you know, it gets broken and, and people can only visit on the faction that you're currently on. So if you're on Imperial side, make sure to switch over to Republic side. I'm just going to put a bunch of text on the screen to make my life easier. Is that okay? for now i think top of the hour is fan project yeah it was supposed to be like 20 minutes ago but you know tyrusa's alderaan stronghold okay if anyone else has any more requests 45 almost there put them now because I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna stop after this list is done how we doing how are we doing? Coruscant? I don't know if Coruscant's gonna work. Because Coruscant is tapped at 50. And we had another one tapped at 50, wasn't working. Same thing with Tatooine. I'm unsure if Tatooine's working. 48! Almost there! Is Nashadot being given another go? Nope. I ain't trying it. I'm sorry. Oh, wait a sec. Pursuit of Peace. Ahsoka Bane's Pursuit of Peace on what? On what stronghold? Don Polyon. What's your alternative one? Bye, Rosie. Have a good day. Uh, Rosie, do you have my Discord? At Sotrista. Can you message me there so I can make sure to get you your little gift? I know you already won something, you know. Got it? Okay, exit area. Return to Republic Fleet. You should put in a bug report. I got better things to do. Uh, Garmer. On Yavin? Okay. Let's see if we can get that working. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, Rosie, you can email me at sotarista at gmail.com if that works for you. Just say it's Rosie. <laughs> okay, so we're going to Sororita's Sin Yavin. Yavin Stronghold, Sororita Sin. Sororita Sin. Ooh. That's on the last page near the bottom. Nice, Rosie. Perfect. What prefixes are good for DPS Vanguard? Um, I like, I like Miss, Miz, Miz, I'm a big fan of. Mrs. is good too. Uh, Mr. Um, honored Doctor, Doctor, Doctor's a good one too. Uh, <laughs> what are you trying, what are you trying to, what's a prefix? I know you're trying to ask something, but I'm not sure what. Corey. Corey, I'm not sure Tatooine's gonna work. Corey Fish, because we had a problem with Narshadal because it could only hit 50. And Tatooine can only hit 52. Doctor, Doctor. What armor modules are good? Here, uh, Crimson, maybe this will help you out here. See if uh, clicking for your class gets you there. Spectre John, if you can hear me, click on Silent Soldier's name in chat, because he's trying to get you your prize. <laughs> Captain, Captain's a good one too. Kalashel, yes, you were one of the other ones who was having life issues, huh? How are we doing for uh, Sororita? What's our count? Amaranda, I think the reason there is a cap at all is because when we have more than like 16 players in any place at a time, it gets cranky. I think that's why there was the cap to start with and then they just kind of had to keep it. Okay, I need a count. I need a count for this stronghold. This is Sororita. Sororita, but I don't have the person's name. <laughs> uh. Oh my gosh. I'm never gonna get to my... I, I guess I'll just... You know what? I'm gonna let you guys travel without me. And I'm gonna go get the prizes going. So at least we, because I don't want you guys to miss out on your prize. Sorry to sin 53. Okay, get out of here. Exit area. Return to Republic Fleet. Um, which one am I replacing Emperor Hux? Oh, right. You're not on the list yet. Got it. Okay, so next up is going to be Cajones Stronghold on Coruscant. Note to self, next time I do this, it's a full day affair. Is there such a thing as a Sotarista Quesarito? I wish. Delicious. <laughs> freaking, freaking, where's my camera? Where is my camera? Eh. I don't like this text on my face. Oh, wait, yeah. Corsant, not gonna work. Oh, no! Cajone! Cajone! We said Corsant's not gonna work! We can try it. We can try it since we're here. Let's give it a shot. Cajone! Cajone is where on the list? Cajone's stronghold is at the very end. Yes, Val. Melody Tempest stronghold, Alderaan, yes. Kind of this text list. 
course not used to work as long as the owner is not there. Yeah, that's what that's what I'm not sure about. So Kahone, if you make sure, make sure to leave if you're not here yourself. So I'm actually gonna leave myself and I'm gonna go grab the prizes. So at least you guys can get your prizes. <laughs> You guys will have to tell me if croissant works or not. So who are we on? Cajone? Cajone, will you let us know the count? And I, I'm and it'll have to be in Twitch chat. We're at 44. Croissant. I'm gonna go to my character that actually has prices. <laughs> hmm. 49? Almost there? Uh 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 almost almost almost. And we'll see if it works for Cajone. Yeah, so the owner has to be gone. Hopefully Cajone has actually left physically. I unfortunately wasn't writing down whose strongholds belong to who though. The directory still only says 44. Yeah, the directory is weird. You have to like open and close it. It's not very accurate. Ahsoka's on Rishi. Thank you. Perfect. That's awesome. Appreciate that. Got that. Pursuit of peace. Oh, Fifty. Okay, but did you did you get the achievement? Uh, let's see. Who's who's this Cajones? Stronghold on Coruscant. Belongs to who? Oh my god, so much scrolling. This could cry. No achievement? Okay. So unfortunately, if you have a stronghold on Coruscant, on Yavin 4, oh sorry, on Coruscant, on Yavin 4, Suck a coruscant. <laughs> oh, do not trust the stronghold window and get the achievement tracker on. So maybe there's not actually that many people. Well, if there's 50 people in the stronghold and no more can join, then no, no more can join regardless. It doesn't matter about the tracker or not. Windrise says there's only 45 in there. Interesting. Can, can you guys get in line and like count each other? Narshada is the not worky one. Apparently Coruscant too, sadly. Matic says got only one for 25 myself with supposedly 51 on Yavin. Ah, oh, The stronghold UI is not accurate? Why does it suck so bad? Oh my gosh. Croissant. I don't... I, I have no way to check your guys' count. Like... <laughs> <gasps> ah, you know what? I am going to call a partial quits on this because I'm going freaking crazy and I'd like to hand out some prizes. Is that okay? And uh, we'll come back and see if we can get some more of these if there's enough people still around. Give me like half a second here and I'll get this character set up. So if you're in a group, please leave your group. Please leave your group if you're already in a group. And if you participated and would like your prize, please whisper the character name Spa Day. And I'm going to summon you guys to my own stronghold, my Alderaan stronghold, just so I can get you all in one spot. That one can hold 70 people, but I already have the achievement. <laughs> oh, okay, let's see. Let's see. Uh, easiest way to do this is probably for me to travel there and to start a ops group, right? Group. Convert to ops group. Perfect. Ballpoint. Raskin. Melody. Ren. Victory. Woo! So tiny. Victory. Ed Chassis. Ben Solo. Intazar. Rakid. Myra. Shank. 
Uh, Alish, Crystal, Rika. How much is this gonna cost for me to trade to you all, guys? Fail, Twixy, Femi, Anders, Kalish. Oh, the group is full. Because I forgot to convert to an ops group. Oh, I'm gonna scream. Group. Remove from group. Group. Oh, I had to start over. Okay, let's go back to the top. Okay, Tyrus, a uh, group. Convert to ops group. Cry. <laughs> ah. What's the character name? It's literally Spot A. Yes. This is my little character here. My cute little Tython ready to party character who can't actually leave Tython yet. See, and I got our cool lightsaber and everything. Okay, so Tyruso, Ballpoint. Resfrin, Melody. Ren, Victory. Echassi. Ben Solo. Intazar. Oh my gosh, I'm doing it now. Rakid, Myra. <laughs> Not being a failure. Shanks, Ailish. Crystal, Rika. Twixie, Fail. Femi, Anders. Kalashel, Identity Crisis. Ainsley. Press accept. Savin. Estelle. Delta. I think that should fill up the group and then I'll, I'll uh, send out a little summon. Prizes, but it's your birthday. Oh my gosh. So Silent is starting another giveaway. Oh, I pressed travel instead of invite. That was the wrong button. Silent says a giveaway has started for a Mandalorian heavy jetpack. You only need to enter once. To enter, type in Twitch chat. Prizes, but it's your birthday. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna press the button. I got this. I got this. Invite group. Yeah! There you go. So I'm gonna leave group. And then I can make a new one. Yeah? Okay, we got Boreali, Beltaloda, Silver Wolven. Oh, no, I have to group convert to off group. Oh, but I'm in a freaking stronghold. I'll go scream. I'll be back in a second. Uh, exit area to Tython. Okay. Listen, listen, we'll get here eventually. I got this, I got this. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness. You got this, Saya. Thank you. I'm so frustrated right now. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Group. Convert to ops group. Okay. Yikes. Ainsley, if you're already in my stronghold, please don't whisper me. Nida. Kahone. Beltalota. For real this time. Nice. Variali. For real this yeah. time. Silver Wolven, for real this time. Yeah, indeed. Nida. Davin. For house and rock Kando Kian. attitude. Sarah Black, I'm so sorry. Voreali. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, whoever is helping uh, send out suggested invites. Uh, Ember. Rez. Rometa. Cypher. Ballpoint Kate. So the group's going to fill up again, but then I can just do this again. Nida? Adapta? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to send out another stronghold invitation. Uh, invite group. Please press the green check mark on the top left if you just got invited to group. It looks like a, I see a bunch of you accepting it. So if you didn't already get into the stronghold, Please whisper the character named Spa Day. Spa Day. On Republic side Starforge server and we'll get your prize. Sullivan, Aaron, Bectrum, Ayo. Hey, Ayo. Ayo. Ahsoka. Ahsoka, Zyver, Jerbeko. Um, if I didn't already invite you, can you message me again? Message me again. Um, because I'm having trouble keeping up with all of them. Davin. Melody, Wreck, Carf, Silver, 
Galaxia, hi! Galaxia says happy birthday. Thank you, Galaxia. Cora. Tamara da 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 Dita. I think Cassie. If you're already in my stronghold, don't whisper me. If you're already in my stronghold, don't whisper me. Leave me alone. <laughs> Thank you! Who was that? Scraz! Thank you very much! Cheers, 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 cheers. Okay. I'm going to send out another stronghold invitation. I think we're getting there. Invite group. Scruffy looking nerf herder. I'm going to leave this group again. Looks like a bunch more of you are successfully getting in. Snake Eye, you too. Thanks so much, both of you, for using your, your Amazon Prime for my birthday. Appreciate it. Uh, if you're not already in my stronghold, please whisper to character spa day. Literally spa space day. If you're having trouble whispering me, please let me know your character name in Twitch or YouTube chat and I will manually invite you. Hey there, Hero Nidden over in YouTube chat. Thank you for the birthday wishes too. Okay, Gingiva, got you. Okay, I think we're getting there. Someone declined the invite. I think that was probably Beltalota. Oops. Convert to an ops group. Beltalota, again, for real this time. What is that roof you have right in front of the castle? I need that. Amaranda, I'm not answering any questions about decorations right now. Look at this little smirk on my face. Don Polyon says, I'm in the ops group and no invite. Oh, well, can you whisper spa day again? And leave that group and join this one? I don't know. Maybe you have them turned off or something? You missed it before, says Beltalota. <laughs> okay, so Ginak. Invite Ginak. Don Polyon, sweet. Oh, you're already in a group. Uh, Ahsoka, leave group. There you go. Which server are you on? I'm on Starforge server, Republic side. <gasps> Corzin, congrats on winning that giveaway there. Congratulations. All right. Is anybody else having any issues? Is anybody else not in my stronghold except for, like, Gingiva, Ahsoka, Beltalota, and Ginnick? Anybody else that I'm trying to get in who isn't there yet? And is having trouble? Is having life issues? Doesn't know what's going on? Doesn't know what to do? <laughs> oh, I'll get you guys starting to load in over in the stronghold. Invite group. There you go. You're having issues winning? I can't help with that one. Martok, thanks so much for coming along. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sergeant Jeanette still needs to join. There you go. Miri Allen, yeah. I'm just showing you guys your butt, sorry. Really cute little character I made, just literally named Spa Day. I needed a character to hold all of the prizes on. And this isn't even, this isn't even all of them. These are just the ones in my inventory. Seja is also slow. <laughs> it's at max population, really? Okay, I'm gonna go start... Oh, because I can only hold 62. I'm gonna go start handing out prizes, and then I'm gonna kick some people out. <laughs> okay? <laughs> so I can get you the last of you some. Um, give, me, give me a few minutes here. Don't worry. This is just the easiest way to do it, is to get them all here. If you guys could form a line of some sort, your spot in line doesn't matter. I have enough prizes for everyone. Just, um, if you could form a line so I can go one by one, that would be awesome. That would be fantastico for those of you in the stronghold. Yeah, go out, go outside and, and do a line. Go out in the open air. I'm gonna go find, I need some credits, I realize now. Otherwise, I'm not gonna be able to trade stuff. <sighs> Withdraw. Hopefully 100 million credits is enough, otherwise I might have some trouble. 100, one, two, three, one, two, three. We'll see. We'll see. I might have to borrow some credits. Did you guys make a line? Nice. Nice. Look at you guys. You're, where? Wait, where are all of you? I see a bunch of you made a line in different places. Oh, I guess I should have given more instructions. See a bunch of you are... Okay, perfect. You're going to make a line near the bridge downstairs in the grass. And like I said, it doesn't matter your spot in line. I have enough prizes for everyone. It's just so I can, I can go through one by one. Okay, here's prize for Bectrum. If you could do me a favor, 
and leave the stronghold once you get your prize. Here's prize for a yikes. That'd be great. Hey! Press trade. Thanks. Bum, bum. I got scared at first. Everybody's name is showing up in red. Or like their level is showing up in red. Silver Wolven. Nice. Wreck car for your next. Press trade. Jerbeko, you're next. Press trade. If you guys could leave the stronghold. How much does the trade cost me? Oh my gosh. Is it costing me 67 million per trade? Hang on. No, it's only 8 million. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. That was how much I had at the second. 8 million. Oh, I... <laughs> hey, Intazar. <laughs> Can I take a small loan? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna run out of, I, I have a couple more credits, but, um, I don't know if I have enough to trade them all. I, I didn't honestly think of that. I can pay you back. I just don't know where my credits are right now. They're, like, on my main character, and I'd really rather just go through and give this to everybody. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Trade Kando, trade Kando, thank you. <gasps> Captain Chorus and Dula. Oh, who has the turtle out? I love that little guy. Intazar, I see you. I see you. I see you. Hang on. Yeah. Cora, I'm not sure yours worked. If yours didn't work, can you stay in line? If it did work, get out of the way. Get out of here. <sighs> oh. Thank you. Okay, I owe you 947 million, okay? I have I have debts owed about a billion credits to Intazar. Oh no. Is this is this how he gets me? Did you guys you guys do you guys know about the Intazar and Zack feud that I accidentally caused? Oh no. Rakid. Rakid, hang on. Um let me pull out a mailbox. General mailbox? Legacy. Oh, can someone pull me out a mailbox really fast? I think I gave one to Twixie, right? Yes, Twixie, we already did. Happy birthday, says Twixie. Thank you! Thank you! Okay, next is gonna be Seloin. Thank you. I saw someone pulling out that mail droid, and I'll send it to Rakid in the mail. There you go, Beltaloda. And if you guys could leave the stronghold once you've got your prize, I'd really appreciate that. So, Rakid. I think it was. Did I spell it right? Padawan Raki. Looks like it. There you go, buddy. Yours is going to come in the mail in about half an hour because uh, you weren't able to trade yet. Who's next? Ember. I think I haven't traded Ember yet, right? If not, oh no. I'd really appreciate it if you guys would get way out of the way if you, uh, if you, uh, how already got your prize? Because it's hard to click on people. Here we go. Here's Io's prize. Thanks for waiting, by the way. I'm sorry we weren't able to get through everybody. Well, ha I think what we're going to do is we're going to have to plan a day where we get that achievement, but only do that, not other things, too. Ahsoka. Ahsoka? You're welcome. Can you send the summons again? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Jinjava. There you go. Who did I just do? Ah! Okay, next is... Oh, Melody. Hey, Melody. You especially. I'm sorry we weren't able to get it for you. My longtime PvP rival. Hawk says, hello. Is it your birthday? It sure is. It sure is. So we're going to have to plan a day where we do this, but it isn't also my birthday party and also a launch party and also and also and also, you know? Thank you guys so much for the nice wishes. Thank you. Thank you, algorithm there. Uh, May free-to-play players should form a separate line. No, it's okay. It's just easier for me to go one by one and and just uh, trade them one by one. Oh no, Go! don't move you guys. Don't move, stay still. And l if you have yours, please leave the line and leave the stronghold. But if you run around in line, you're gonna screw me up. <sighs> Sergeant Jeanette? Oh, who, who declined? Who declined? Did five local get one? I don't think so. I think five local might have been the one who declined. Let's give it another go.
There we go. Get out of here. Side Joe's next. Ba -da 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 -ba -ba -da -ba. Happy birthday! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I know. I know some of you had to go, so that's why I was like, let's see if we can we can rush these prizes out first. A little more important. Saija, accept your damn prize. Kahone, you're next. Saija, the trooper, Major Saija. Thank you. Kahone, you're next. Oh, Kahone, you are also free to play. So let's uh, send that out. Compose. Ka ho nay. Da 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 da. Boom. Yours is sent in the mail. If you could get out of line, you'll get yours in about half an hour in the mail. That's just how the game works. <gasps> Did we start a new? Oh, we started a new giveaway. So a giveaway has started, says Silent, for Opal Vault Till Amount. You only need to enter once. To enter, type in Twitch chat. Jahora, get out of line. Get out of here. Zyver, you're next. Type in Twitch chat. Line. Team Chaos, all one word. Thank you, Cyber. Shanks' turn. Shanks is trying to pull out that mailbox. No, 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 no. Trade with me. There's someone with purple hair here. I'm trying to click, but I keep kicking, clicking a pet. Thank you. Um, D I'm trying to click Dita, but it's not working. There you go, Dita. Thank you. Perfect. Normally I yell at people for scooting around, but you did you did good. You did good, kid. We quit. We quit. Ta da! Vorela, you're gonna be next. We quit Romana, the Sith, pure blood of the Lutch legacy. I'm a Padawan Rakeet, and I had to make a character on the server and speedrun Tython. Oh, congratulations for speedrunning Tython. Nicely done. Cypher in the house. I saw someone have a question about the giveaways, and I'll try and get it in a second. I'm trying to find it again. <laughs> it gets kind of lost. Do the giveaways work no matter what server you're on? Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the credits back. Um, yes. Uh, if you are... That was Alish, yeah. If you are winning something from Twitch chat, where you're typing codes like Line Team Chaos to enter... The, that's literally a code that you win and you can uh just redeem it and you actually get the prize on every server which is really cool we're currently on the starforge server unfortunately uh philora get out of here get, get out of line um these prizes are specifically for starforge the one that i'm trading right now <laughs> get out of here air stacks get out of here Dun. Da, 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 da. Oh, what's the prize? What's the prize? And our DeAndres asked earlier. So this is a really cool prize, actually, and I hope you guys like it. Um, so this is a bundle of my very favorite decorations bundle. Um, it's called the Spa Day. Ugh, it's not called Spa Day. Oh my God, that's the name of the event. It's called the Luxury Resort Decoration Bundle. So some really pretty and nicely animated decorations and um it's normally over a thousand cartel coins but they had it discounted really big for a while to 90 cartel coins so i bought i bought like a pile of like 80 of them at least i can't remember exactly i have some more sitting in my um cartel stash or whatever you want to call it in case i needed to get more crystal here you go happy birthday no wait it's my birthday i don't say Happy birthday to you. <laughs> if, don't move. Don't move. Don't. Don't move an inch if you haven't gotten yours yet. If you have got your prize, get the hell out of here. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Ivana. Appreciate it. Thanks for uh, covering the cost. Damn it. Stop it. Just, just stay still. <laughs> Next is Ren. Here you go. And don't worry. I know you guys see that it looks like I'm running out, but I'm not. I'm not running out. I have more. I just ran out of space. I wanted to play Space Barbie, so I threw a bunch of them in the in the bank. Ainsling, your turn. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you for covering the fee. Appreciate that. It's not it's not it's not in any requ required. I just have to pay back my uh my debts to Intazar at some point. Right. So the the feud between Zack and Intazar. Um they were on a game show together. And they were like rivals in the game show. And at one point, Zach used a guide 
that Intazar wrote to beat Intazar. Like, it was like a race to get something. And I was pretty amazed about that. Myra, did yours work? Or did I accidentally skip past you? Oh, I skipped past you. Sorry. Hang on. I'll back up. Let's see if I can get that working. Thank you guys for getting out of line so quickly. Appreciate it. You guys are doing great. <laughs> Myra cries. <laughs> so, Teresa, from which side of the bridge are we standing? Um, I'm going to force you to use logic on that one. It's not a line. Um, it's just... It's just like for me to be able to click you guys in order. It's not like first come first served or anything. I've got more. Good enough for everyone. Ah, oh, thank you. Um, is there anyone in line who has a portable cargo hold? Uh, oh no, this is my own stronghold. I can just put one. <laughs> Sorry. Stay in line. Stay in line if you haven't gotten one. Just a second. You need to find a hole. Cargo? Unless that somebody has a portable cargo hold. Cargo. And I know some people are clearly getting confused and standing in places that they shouldn't, but... Ah, uh, oh, thank you, thank you. Um, don't worry. You'll, you'll, t t t t we'll just give it to them, it's fine. You're all gonna get one in the end. Cargo hold! Hold! Yeah! <laughs> I'm glad. I was scared. I didn't want to buy, like, way too many. But I didn't want to buy too little. I was gonna be sad, you know? Da, 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 da. Okay, Rometa. Rometa is one of the ones who like accidentally snuck because the lines got funky. Uh, Gingiva. I lied. That that is incorrect. Gingiva. Gingiva Vitus. Hey, Intazar. Hi. Nice to see you. Um, listen about that uh, billion credits you gave me. No, <laughs> Intazar. <laughs> Intazar just gave me 8 million credits to cover the cost when he just gave me a billion credits earlier to cover the cost. I already had the credits. Happy birthday, sis, Stask. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we're getting out the last of these prizes for this special event. If you got your prize, please literally leave my stronghold. Just get out if you could. I would appreciate that. Um, Adretta, Adepta, I think you're the final person. Um, did I miss anybody? Did anybody have any issues? Um, I know two of you were free to play. Yours will show up in the mailbox. Yeah, please get out of my stronghold. Like, for real, I don't want you in here. <laughs> if you could leave, I'd really appreciate it. Um, otherwise I have to, like, figure out how to ban you from my stronghold. <laughs> I don't like people in here. <laughs> this is my house. You're going to be working off those credits until the game closes? I'm sure of it. Okay. We're going we're gonna to officially end this portion of the stream. I'm going to leave you guys uh, to your own devices for, for a few minutes. Because I have some stuff to show you guys. Um, and I'm very excited. Uh, the second portion of the stream out of two of three parts. Um, I'm excited to show you the project that I've been working on. And I have some silly, silly shenanigans. You didn't get yours? Cory the fish. Cory fish, are you on a free to play character? What's your character? Oh, you guys up at the front. That's right. You are the ones who kind of failed at deduction, but that's okay. You get a prize anyway. Montego's like, I don't care. It's fine. You can just use the guild later. No, I want to spend into Zars credits. I'm glad, so I'm glad you said something, though. I almost missed all three of you by accident. I see it jumping up and down, Voltilla. Is that Io? Io, you got yours, right? Thanks for being patient, Montego. Oh, Cory says I tried to move, but by then you were telling us to stand still. Oh, <laughs> that was my fault. <laughs> take your prize, Montego. Stop typing in chat. No, just, just take it. Thank you. Ayo, is there something wrong or are you just, just saying hi? I think Ayo is just saying hi. Yes. Okay, good. Looks like you already got yours. Thank you for all the birthday wishes in chat too. I'm just, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm seeing them all now. Okay, so I'll be right back. I'm going to get my character dancing on the bridge where she belongs, you know. Dance. And BRB. Thanks for coming for the Stronghold events.
That malfunctioning little twerp. This is all his fault. Ah, hello everybody, welcome right back, my name is Sotarista from Sweden, as you can see, I work in for the Ikea, I am here to help you with all of your decorating needs, you see here, you have this leg of the chair, yeah? You making it into the chair? Yeah? You understand? I work in for the IKEA. See, see? Official. Official. Hi. Hedgy. I speak the Swedish, yes. B 
But the IKEA We are expanding into the it's, it's just how do I say it? This is an Oswegian accent. It's not supposed to be. We are expanding into the Star Wars. I am Sotorista from the IKEA, and I am answering phone calls from the Sotor customers. Hello? You need some help? You need some help? No. You need a lot of help. Hmm? Okay, I understand perfectly. You need some help decorating your stronghold. Yes. Yes, I understand. That's okay. We have a whole help desk for you online that we are launching today for the Star Wars. <laughs> no attention to the stuff behind the curtain. That's right. It was me all along. And I'm so incredibly... Shush! So incredibly excited. What is going on? There's no answers for what's going on. We are entering the next part of my birthday stream where I'm going to show off to you guys the project that I have been working on for the last couple of months. And Intazar actually helped a little bit with it. And I'm super, super excited about this. Um, so Silent hopefully uh, is just going to keep doing giveaways. But we're going to take a break from being in a game for a little bit so I can show you this fantastic project. I am so excited about it. <laughs> I like these glasses. They're, they're not they're not as comfy as the other ones, so I'm gonna have to switch back. I'm sorry. It was me all along. <laughs> okay, okay. It's weird how we never saw Wario and Satrice at the same place at the same time. It is strange, right? <laughs> all right, so this is the amazing project that I am so, so incredibly excited to share with you guys. Um, I have been working on it since probably around early February, technically even sooner. This project originally started back hmm, probably two or three years after the game launched and I was kind of learning how to code. I believe I started this when I was still in school because I wanted to learn how to use WordPress. WordPress is a type of software for making websites. It's primarily for blogging, for like writing stuff. Um, but you can use it in a lot of other ways. Um, and speaking of other ways, if you want to enter the contest on Twitch, please type the word DECO, D-E-C-O, guide to win 450 cartel points. And you only have to enter once. So this is a huge project. Um, and um, I've been working on it for a while. And the original iteration was from two or three years after the game's launch. However, by the time Shadow of Revan came around, I got busy. I wasn't doing stuff full time. Ashums, Ashums, thank you. Thanks for using your Amazon Prime. And I'm super excited uh, to share this with you. It's fully updated now and really, really, really improved. Um, I decided to take this project on, uh, I think it's sometime around like September. I decided I wanted to do this. And then tour decorating and tour fashion were going to go offline. And I was like, oh my God, I gotta, I gotta put a little more priority on this one, huh? Um, so tour fashion is officially down and I have the backup, it's online. Um, and then uh, tour decorating is still strangely online, but I don't know for how long. So I really wanted to get this up to date while it was still online and while it was still easy to check things instead of being in like a backup database. So this is all on sotrisha.com slash decorations. Um, you can get to it just from the menu, I think. Maybe not yet. <laughs> I, I, I was trying to keep it semi-hidden until then. Um, and it is a huge resource about both strongholds and decorations and stronghold decorating. So I'm gonna go through pretty much everything on the site and how enormous of a project this was. So first off, uh, our Nia, Hele, and or Dar, Duran, happened to be here. I know Hele was earlier, but I think they had to, to go, but they might be back later. Um, Cause they are three people who volunteer really heavily for this project. Um, because there was no way I could get this done myself. So basically I focused on all the code and making it work. And a lot of them helped with kind of spreadsheet related stuff, which was so, so awesome. Okay, so sotrisa.com slash decorations. I'm gonna post this link for you guys in chat. And now I'm gonna show you why it's so awesome. And I'm so excited to launch this project for you guys. So first off, um, 
The place you want to start if you've never done a stronghold before is the stronghold starter guide. I have completely overhauled this for 2024. I've added more screenshots, I've added more information, I've broken it down better, and it goes over how to do literally everything to do with a stronghold. We had someone in here asking, how do you invite people to your stronghold? Here's two different ways to do it, how to invite and how to show it off publicly. And it goes through both of those right there. That's why I didn't wanna like stop and explain it at the time. <laughs> um, now, we are talking about the different strongholds that were available. We were saying some could only hold this many people or that many people. Um, and this is something that I built very recently. Um, it's a comparison of all 12 strongholds. So you can more easily decide which ones you want to unlock and compare them by price, by size, by how many rooms they have, how many decorations they can hold, how many visitors they can hold. Hold. I'm so mom coded. What does that mean? What? Um, Master Sharp says, damn, this is really great. So Teresa, thank you. And everyone who volunteered. Yeah, I, I wish they were here so I could be like, Mwah. but luckily I give them lots of hugs and kisses and thank yous. Okay, no hugs, no kisses, but lots of thank yous <laughs> as they volunteer. You're not allowed to ask me what day of the week it is. It's my birthday. That's the only correct answer. I literally turned off the day of the week that used to live in the corner because of this. This is a really nice guide and it really comes the perfect time for me. I was about to start looking around to get one. Nice, yeah, so this is the comparison stronghold. Um, it's got a table at the top and then it goes through the strongholds kind of one by one with a bunch of like bullet points about them. Like what does it have that's cool or unique? And so I kind of hand wrote that, I guess you could say. And which ones have training dummies, which ones don't, you know. What does the lighting look like? Um, kind of how does it feel like for size? literally the mom of sotor when it comes to noobs learning stuff you gotta admit it oh i'll take it thank you kunkalek thank you very much that makes me happy um and then lastly if you want inspiration and this is going to be kind of like a static part of the site for now you cannot submit anything but tor decorating was a website that allowed you to submit images of strongholds however the owner decided she wasn't able to maintain it anymore and couldn't fund it anymore so it was costing more money than it was making um so but i did preserve everything that people had submitted so you can go through and kind of look at what people had submitted but it's not very um filterable or anything like that but it's great for inspiration it's filterable by stronghold so if you're Copero's not there because Copero didn't exist at the time kind of thing. Um, however, like let's say you're doing the Rishi stronghold. Here's a page of Rishi strongholds you can you can flip through. Um, and that's what it is. Yeah, she did an awesome job while she had it up. She absolutely did. The person who ran this was named Exiled Messenger. Holy cow. Dedication to the game. And she's like behind the scenes too. Like she never, she uh, always just kind of did it in the background, which is super neat. Um, I did ask... Uh, when she was shutting it down, let's see, what happened to Tor Fashion? Um, when Dolphy disappeared, basically a lot of people were like, what happened to her? I miss her. Why is she, where'd she go? And I, it always made me sad when other creators kind of just went missing. Um, and so I asked her, like, not only did I offer to like take it all over and preserve it, but I also asked her, could you share a little bit about yourself? Um, because I'm always sad to see people go. So she actually has, I just post, posted this in YouTube and Twitch for anyone curious. And like, she gave pictures of her dogs and her history. And basically she's going into school at the age of, how old is she? She's like, uh, tomorrow I start my multi-year journey to return to school full-time and get a degree. She's like a, like quite like retired and everything like that, you know? Hey mate, I'm an old WoW player trying out Sotor for the first time and I do like my class to be viable endgame. What are your thoughts on Commando? Hey e-boy, e-boy, I'm in the middle of my birthday party and launching a new project. So I can't go into t to deep details right now, but e-boy, go take a look at this. I've just linked you uh, the meta, but basically all classes are viable at endgame. So don't worry too much about it. And I believe Commando's in a pretty good spot if I'm remembering right. Uh commando but you have to pick a discipline too <laughs> commando uh assault specialist is pretty high up there it looks like wait is that commando i always freaking forget sorry gunnery arsenal yeah don't don't pick gunnery arsenal that's okay hopefully that's useful to you happy birthday exile messenger is 50 this year there you go so she's going back to school full-time 
So that's the main the main reason uh, that site shut down. Um, combat medic, if you want heals, that's right. Um, so next up, this is something that's actually existed on the site for a very long time, but I then went and updated it, upgraded it, and added the newer strongholds. Um, so this course on stronghold guide is actually like, I don't know how old it is. Oh, oh my gosh. Are you guys ready for this? Hang on. This is one of my oldest videos on my entire channel. Nine years ago. August 5, 2014. Wait for it. Wait for this microphone from Walmart. Welcome to the Coruscant Stronghold. Coruscant <laughs> is one of the starter planets for the Republic side. It's also the Wow! <laughs> Old! Holy cow, right? Yeah, Nia! Nia, hey! Nia, I'm excited to see you. Nia Tessie is one of the people who uh, was volunteering very heavily for this project. And Nia, if there's anything... Let it keep playing. No. Nia, if there's anything you wanted to share about working on this project, I would love to share it with the class. I'm just... just I just went over the basic guides. I haven't even gotten to decorations yet. So um, this guide, this course out guide, is literally as old as time itself. Um, but I did go back and added some more information. There's maps, um, stuff like that. Um, so here's another example of a more... A complicated one. Um, let's do... What's a newer one? Alderaan Stronghold. I love that one. I've been streaming for 13 years. No. I have not. <laughs> oh. Sponsored by Walmart. Oh my gosh. That microphone was so bad. It was like a clip-on microphone. Um, so like there's going to be maps. Of what's connected to what. And what you need to unlock what. There's prices for everything. Mic quality really had its charm, right? Oh, 2016 U is what got me into that game. Okay, but that was not the 2016 microphone. Come on, be real. Um, I did upgrade after that at some point because my friends were so sick of hearing my garbled voice on Discord. So yeah, there's screenshots. It'll show off any secrets or anything like that that you might not find on your own. It'll show off like the different rooms or like what to use them for, what they look like with hooks and without hooks. Where's the thing that talks about the person? Yeah, yeah, this is uh, the person from Tor Decorating. I'll, I'll relink that to you. The person, the thing that talks about the person. So yeah, um, these are really, really, really now up to date. And there's one for obviously every stronghold that actually exists. And then in addition, in addition, if you're looking for information about guild strongholds, this is something I didn't have a lot of information on before. But I've, I've also done a comparison page for guild strongholds that very clearly lists which ones you can get, because you can't get all of them, which ones you can get and uh, how much they cost and how many people they can hold and stuff like that. So I hope that's a really... There's a video for Mech Shaw. I think so. Uh, but I think it's like from the PTS. So there's been some very slight changes. Oh. There is, but it's not on this page because I forgot to put it there. I think there's one on my YouTube? I hope so. Tsunami wants to know, can I run Nightmare Mode Nefra and Dash Room more than once a week? Only if you have more than one character. It's once per character per week in Nightmare Mode. Um, so there's that. Uh, there's how to get, uh, there's guides about the flagships, Republic and Imperial side, and how to get a guild flagship as well. And I believe something I added to that guide was, did I add info about getting it on your own? No, it just goes through the, the steps very, very clearly. I added a lot of maps. Um, made it so the maps are easy to open. Just lots of lots of useful stuff there. Um, let's see. Now here's where it starts getting even more intense. So one of the big projects was getting the list of decorations completed with what's actually in game, sorted into different categories so you could search for them, and lastly adding information about how to get each one. So first off, how many decorations are there in the game? including all the unknown ones that may or may not exist. There's almost three. There's 2,916 in my database. So there is a ton of decorations in the game. Like, holy cow. About 100 of those, 100 to 200 are like unknown question mark. Do these actually exist? There's three trillion. Two. Yes. Good, good guesses, everyone. Well done. <laughs> Sorry, oh, I'm just having a laugh. 
<laughs> Two decorations. There's a lot of trophies. They almost broke me. Oh my gosh, Nia, thank you for your help. Um, so we needed to get all the decorations listed on the site. We needed to get a screenshot for all of them. We need to get them each in the right category and so on and so forth. So I was able to get a lot of them already in. I was able to automate some of that to like import just the names and stuff like that. But all of the categories had to be manually done and that's where the volunteer team came in. So that was the big part of their first task. Nia, um, Hele, and then later uh, Dar was helping too. So basically they would go through each decoration, all 2,900 of them, and add them to the correct category. So what would they add? They add where is it listed in game? What type of decoration is it? Like is it civic? Is it environmental? Whatever. Um, then what type of hooks does it fit into? Then where does it come from? So it's sourced, how do you get it? Then um, I also did something called collections, which was a later edition, which are kind of like player made things that are similar to each other, like themes and stuff like that. We also have them tagged by color, but that one's kind of haphazard. <laughs> um, we also did by feature. So you can sort by clickable, crystals, fire, holograph, neon, stone, trap, water, lights up the room. Um, and the easiest way to see all these types of things are by the homepage on soteresa.com slash decorations. So how do you sort uh, by decorations? So here's different types of decorations. Like if you want a couch, if you want a bed, if you want a statue, if you want a light, if you want a mount, if you want a crafting deco, you know, like uh, just you can use these big icons and these icons these were a majority actually designed by Intizar. Very fun story. So this site probably came out 2014, 2015. And I wasn't really interacting with a lot of people very much yet. And Intizar actually reached out to me and asked if I wanted some icons. Because I think I had some really crap ones or very generic ones. I think I had used like icons from online. And Intizar offered to make some. Yeah, they do look clean AF, Kunkalek. I really like them. Now like six years no sorry make that like oh god is it like 10 years later eight to ten years later i couldn't even remember who had made these or anything and intizar was like it's me and at this point just by coincidence just by coincidence intizar said making those icons is how i met satarisa way back then just by coincidence at this point in both of our lives we're actually playing together regularly because we're on the same raid team <laughs> And I didn't even realize it was him. Like I didn't, I didn't put the two and two together. So he was so nice when they told him um, what that I was actually updating the site. He went back and made me some more. <laughs> he went and made, especially particularly uh, these ones, because they're a new way of searching. So he made like these little icons. Uh, he repurposed some and drew some. So like, this is cool. He drew this one. Um, you can search by like neon sign or like, does it have crystals in it? Is it holographic? You know, super cool. Oh, Rockalot! Rockalate! If you're still here, can you click Silence name in chat and message him in Twitch chat? He's got your prize he wants to send you. Umbra! Simply! Ruggers! Thank you guys so much for the birthday wishes. The crystals one is really good. It's one of my favorites. Um, and so that was something else that the volunteer team helped with is they helped look through the pictures of decorations once they were uploaded and like tag them. Like, does this have a crystal in it? Let's tag it. You look like Hulk Hogan Canadian version. <laughs> You like the Gizka for pets? Okay, I made that one. That's why it's kind of uglier than the rest, but it's cute. It's fine. Yeah. A little Gizka. This guy's the Ackley Mount. I think this is Jace Malcolm, possibly. Shh. Intizar says I only seem like two people. You know, sometimes you get you confused with other people. <laughs> um, next is the source section. This is a simplified area. Of where do you get these decorations? Where are they from? So where's all the flashpoint decorations? What are they? What decorations can be crafted? What's on the cartel market? Um, however, there is a more nitty gritty, more finely detailed list available in both the menu as well as the homepage. I like to use the homepage because menus are annoying. Um, and that's uh, here. So if you look, sorry, I'm having trouble with my scroll bar. Um, if you look in the source section later down, it's broken down even more. So each cartel bundle has its own section. Um, for crafted stuff, how do you craft it? Each type of prefab. Helle, nice to see you, Helle. Helle is uh, uh, the second the second volunteer that I was mentioning. Helle says Nia did more work than I did, especially with the special category tagging. Helle, please do not count yourself out. You did a 
freaking fudge ton. Plus, you were like the first person on board, weren't you? And that helped so much. Like, just you being there from the get-go and this entire time. Oh my god, thank you. So cool. So cool. So cool. Um, and then so you can uh, sort it by which flashpoint. What, like, what does False Emperor drop? What does Legacy of the Ricotta drop? What does A Traitor Among the Chists drop? Ah, oh, Nia says, Hele, we make a great team. Oh, Hele, I said this to Nia as well earlier, but if there's anything you want to share about this project, um, please uh, type it up in chat and I'll share it with the class because you also contributed so much to this if you had any thoughts and their excitement about it, you know? A metric fudge ton or imperial fudge ton? Both. So you can start by operation. You can start by what reputation track or planet or event. Um, you can start by start like some of them are even broken down by like achievements and drops and stuff like that. So huge, huge. Intazar says the amount of work everyone did is amazing to see. Fantastic. It's just, just nuts. Yes. So, 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 so much. Um, and then uh, the last way to sort is by hook. That one's kind of like self-explanatory. That should match whatever you see in game. The one that I use the most is actually the starship hook. Because, like, there's only so many things that fit there. So it's really nice to be able to look through and see what things fit in that hook. Um, I don't really recommend it for, like, a wall small. Because you're going to have 6,000 things that fit there. But, hey, whatever makes you happy. Um, and then there's also these collections. And this is something that I really wanted. Helle says, my favorite was one or two of the imported data from Tor Decorating that got mistagged. My favorite being the Malgus Hollow getting tagged as technology. That's not untrue <laughs> yes there was some funny strange stuff um zach i think was the one helping upload the trophies and i renamed all the trophies wrong so him and occasionally helly and mia had to like try and figure out what they were supposed to be in the first place it was really funny um so uh collections are a way to sort through things that are similar and these are like fan made these are ones that i made like for example kitchen collection if you're trying to decorate a kitchen there's no kitchen category in the game and so i instead put together anything that had food or a stove or a chef or a drink or a shelf or you know something that could be useful um there's a science collection there's a jukebox collection there's a manon collection and for the ones like the manon collection we have the decorations that are from the Manon Flashpoint. We have the decorations that are from the Manon Reputation. We have a couple cartel market kind of themed Manon decorations, but without the collections that are fan kind of cultivated, there's not a good spot to see all of them together. Prom says the collections is honestly very unique and useful. You did a great job compiling them together. Thank you. That's the something that I really like to do. Um, so I believe Helle helped uh, auto tag some stuff and then I went through and um, added anything that I loved on my own. So for example, I told Helle, uh, please put everything with the word boss into the boss category automatically. And then I added anything else that I thought would fit well, like the Gormac Barricade or Gormac's other stuff. Um, what else is there? Okay, so there's so much collections for you guys to look through. Zakul, Imperial, Datacrons, Creepy, Skeleton, Makeb, Beach, you know, on and on and on. Oh, did we start a new giveaway? The giveaway has started for a Mandalorian heavy jetpack. You only need to enter once. Enter type this old stronghold. <laughs> Ah, Emperor Hux says, this is so amazing. I'm going to go nuts looking through and checking off boxes on my list. Nice. Okay, so now let's go uh, into an actual decoration collection. So let's go to the Copero and Chiss collection, which is actually, I think, one of the ones we started with because the Copero Stronghold was coming out. Uh, when you go to the collections pages, there's actually a cool little feature because it's supposed to be more inspirational than informational. Like, what could you use? The uh, information will show up once you roll over it. However, in any other type of search, for example, if you wanted to search through all the sculptures in the game, the information is there right away. And the information is quite detailed. Um, if it's an achievement, it'll tell you what and where in short form. If it's um, from a specific location, it will tell you. It should give you a lot of information just at a quick glance. And one of the ones that we did a lot of work with and that Dorian, who I don't think is here right now, I believe they are, you know, <laughs> having real life. Um, measure twice, hang on hook once, no. Never. There's also information about whether you can find it on the GTN or not right away. This is a huge part of the project too. Um, and it'll be very clear 
if you can find it on the GTN or not. I love that function. I've been using that myself for the Flashpoint decorations. Um, and also what hooks it fits on. I, I know it's probably a little small for you guys, but don't forget you can control plus on any website to zoom in if you need to, to make this, the font and the images bigger. Do you know if you can get to old Tor fashion outfits anymore or not? Yes, uh, what happened to Tor fashion, Tor decorating? I'm gonna link this for you again in chat. Um, they are backed up. They're not very sortable, sortable, and I'm sorry about that, but they're all here. They're all backed up. That's on my to-do list is to add some filters. Sorry about that. The Tor fashion armors are also backed up. Those ones I did add their filters, like look. <laughs> okay, listen, this takes some time. <laughs> <laughs> it's not dynamic, unfortunately. God damn, that's awesome though. I thought it's all lost. Nope, Elkar. That was one of the things that I, I spent about a month backing it all up and making sure it was still uh, available for you guys. Yeah, big, big project. A uh, lot of, lot of uh, very nice information from uh, Exile Messenger too, who was very helpful in passing it off. Um, she basically gave me everything she could to do it. Yeah, I know. Isn't that awesome? It was a stressful time because it had a time limit and everything, but it's up. It's up. It's just not very easy to find right now. Sorry. Big Arigato. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, Dylan and Blur says, happy birthday. Thank you. Blur says, hello, I'm planning to play the game, but I live in Turkey, so I can't really spend much of Sky for long. How can I get the whole experience for cheapest? Hey, so the, the best thing to do for you, I would suggest, is you subscribe uh, for one month. One month only on Sutra.com slash buy. And then afterwards, unsubscribe. Because that will unlock all of the expansions for you forever, permanently, all the ones that are currently out. Highly recommend that. And then you can stay unsubscribed after that for most of the story and stuff. Hele also wanted to share something really important. Uh, they said, Whew, am I losing my voice? I sure am. Flashpoints. Big shout out to the Flashpoint warriors that formed dozens of Flashpoints to confirm what decorations drop from various Flashpoints. So yeah, so we have this Flashpoint decoration section and we know vaguely, like we know this anti-tank trap drops from Objective Meridian, but we didn't have a lot of details. Like I had a lot of questions like, can you get it in story mode? Does it drop less in story mode? Does it come from bosses or for just random enemies? Um, is it a guaranteed reward? Is it from an achievement? Like all of this information, we sent out people as part of a contest. By the way, we're still doing a contest related to that, but for operations now to gather info. The Flashpoints one is over now. Uh, Blur wants to know if they should wait till you're six, they're 60 to subscribe. I don't think it really matters at what point, Blur, whenever you feel like you have a solid month to play. Mia, uh, Mia, thank you so much for coming by. I'm glad you were able to see us launch this. Super exciting. Um, and so you'll notice that there are notes uh, like, uh, let's see, Nathema Conspiracy Arena Torch drops from bosses, hands of Zildrog, and Zildrog times two from any mode, including story. So it's pretty clear. And then um, the ones that we're not entirely sure, they even have a red box. That'll be like, could use some more info, not entirely sure. So they're very clearly labeled. Uh, Helly says it was actually like some of them did hundreds of flashpoints, often the same flashpoint 30 plus times. It was amazing and a lot of work. So I believe there's over 416 decorations submitted during the contest. I was like, oh my gosh, that was crazy. Really huge contest and super helpful community contributions. We had prizes, but I mean, the prizes were not that significant, you know, for the amount of time some people spent volunteering to go run and, and figure stuff out. It was super, super, super cool. Um, so let's see what else. Uh, I know there's other stuff I wanted to show you, but I couldn't tell you exactly what at this point. <laughs> there's so incredibly much. Um, so for example, another sections that I really like are the reputation sections. So for example, Runak, um, there's a lot of decorations related to Runok on the planet of Runok. Um, and this will, if you go to the pages, I also added a lot of information about like, where do you get them? How do you get them in the categories? And then what's cool is when you click into a decoration. So you want to, uh, you want this decommissioned Basilisk Wardroid decoration? Well, uh, there's a summary of information up at the top for every decoration in the game. Are you freaking kidding? Did Montego win? Oh, Montego, you rigged. 
Happy birthday, says Chris Boyle. Your videos for beginners was very helpful. Oh, Chris, thank you very much. And Blur, jeez. Blur, why why do you not have a lot of money and, and you're subscribing to the channel? Thank you very much. Cheers, Blur, appreciate it. <laughs> um, it'll tell you what section it's in. It'll tell you what hooks it fits on. It'll tell you if it's any of my little collections or features. And then um, it'll also give you information here in this box about how to get it more in detail. This one's not a really great one. Let's check out, uh, yeah, Cartel Market Bundles is an awesome one. Grats, but rigged. <laughs> Make sure to whisper silent when you're out of that. Uh, so something else that Nia helped with uh, was uh, this really cool ancient stargazers bundle. Um, or rather all the bundles, uh, Nia helped add what's in them if you buy it from the cartel market and then you can browse each of the decorations and if you like click into it it'll give you the summary what it is in game and then information about how to get it so each decoration in the entire database all 2900 whatever have some sort of information or another huge 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 w jade wide stop posting your youtube video during my birthday bro <laughs> Blur says it's less than 5 USD to get super fan in my region. Ah, oh, Blur, thank you very much. So it has proper region pricing. Got it, got it, got it. Thank you. Um, so yeah, so excited about the wealth of information that's on this site now. And a lot of that was because I had the help from the volunteers focusing on kind of the nitty gritty stuff so I could do the, the bigger stuff like that. Um, what else is there? Oh gosh, so much, so much. There's information about galactic seasons. Um, there's information about PVP seasons. It's like actually up to date. Um, stuff like trophies. Um, I had a lot of questions about Flashpoint trophies actually, surprisingly enough, Flashpoint achievement trophies. Like I honestly thought if you just beat every Flashpoint, you would get every trophy, but it's not even like that. A bunch of them you need to run 25 times. Um, for things like operations, um, this is the one that's in progress. All of the decorations are there, but we're putting more information about, um, uh, where exactly you can get them from. Ne uh, <laughs> LA says, my other favorite story is the moment in PvP and Galactic Seasons went live while we were working on the site. The deco gremlins were on the new deco, so Teresa didn't even need to say anything. We were already running to the fleet and checking out the vendors, taking screenshots, and trying to add anything we missed from the last go through. <laughs> yeah, that was so cool. That was so cool. So while we were working on this, like mid project, a new PvP season launched, and I like logged off for the day. I came back, and they had already gone and added all the new PvP seasons rewards. I was like, really? <laughs> That's awesome. That made me so happy because I was already tracking so many other things at the time. Super, super cool. Deco Gremlin legacy title. Oh my gosh, Deco Gremlin. I love it. Um, and so it's also really clear if something is retired. Um, if you can't get it, it will be like, nope. And it'll say why. It'll say why down here. All right, let's see. Uh, what else did I want to show? Oh, I have some wonderful guides for you guys as well. And uh, now that I've talked about decorations, this is something I've always wanted to do as well. Oh, my foot's falling asleep. Um, is once we had all these 2,900 decorations cataloged, what suggestions can I give? Um, so I started with decorating the Copero stronghold and some suggestions for Copero related decorations or ones that might look nice with the color theme. And so I was able to make these cool little collections. And uh, that was the first one. And I've also done um, Tatooine Stronghold and Alderaan. Just some like suggestions about decorations you might check out if you don't have a specific theme in mind already. You can always, of course, check out the collection sections for, for just general ideas. Like if you want an Imperial Stronghold, there's an Imperial collection. Do you not want to load? Fine. Be that way. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> So I like, and I made some little like uh, montages of, of things you could make with various decorations and stuff like that. And what, what might look nice together and what you can do with the starship hooks and stuff like that. And then um, next up, uh, a really big project that I really wanted to do was create these easy to get decoration guides. Because I actually started playing Final Fantasy with some friends and 
uh, Zach, I don't know if he's still here by now. Hopefully he went and took a break. But he bought a stronghold in Final Fantasy. And what's cool is you can actually share one there. You can share the player housing and contribute towards it. So I was like, okay, but how do I get the decorations? Is there anything other than the vendors that I could go maybe get easily? And I couldn't find like a really easy resource. And I had a guide with a couple of easy decorations, but not a very comprehensive list. So now we have this huge, fantastic guide for you guys if you're looking for decorations. So it goes over the basic decorations, the ones from the credit vendors, um, ones you can buy from the PVP vendors, um, from the Odessan vendor, ones you can earn automatically from flashpoints just by completing them in solo story mode. Um, suggest trader among the chiefs because it's easy to get decorations there. Um, Star Fortress achievements gives you just a ton of decorations to play with. Star Fortress tends to drop them really easily. We, I didn't know that actually. Um, and then I just kept adding to this list and I had to break it down to three different guides. So crafted, easy to get decorations. Pro tip, it's actually all the crafted decorations. It's just sorted by section with a little more information. And by the way, if you're looking to craft something, for example, if you wanted to craft this Senator's Lounger that I actually used in the Alderaan Stronghold. <gasps> Silence says, a giveaway has started for Opal Voltilla Mount in Twitch. You only need to enter once. To enter, type hats for Nautilus when. All one word. <laughs> Is there also a list of things that show up in the pop-up window in game, but aren't actually in game? Yes, I'd love to show you that. Uh, uh, remind me, uh, remind me uh, if I forget, because I really like that section, Emperor Hux. So if you're looking to craft something, it, it has a really huge section about how to craft and how to turn it in or how to buy from the GTN uh, efficiently. There's tons of information. So all the crafted decorations and then even more easy to get decorations in SOTOR. Even more, because I couldn't even, it was just a hodgepodge of leftover ones for you guys to go get. So reputation ones, and I uh, listed the reputation ones that are like newcomer or outsider rank. So pretty easy to get, not like the legendary ones, which I thought was really cool uh, section. The Nathema Flashpoint tends to drop decorations a lot. The anniversary event when it's around is obviously a great way to get decorations and then i was like oh you know what a good one would be mounts and pets and companions to add that would be a really good thing to add and um nia actually has some questions about how companions even work uh in strongholds which i was surprised about um so i actually went back and i made a guide about how to use companions mounts and pets in your stronghold companions have some really weird rules about what they're wearing when you see them whether they're holographic or not and stuff like that so i made a little guide about that i made a little guide about how you can use mounts what you can do with them and kind of how they work and same thing with pets and what you, what you can do with them and what how you might uh, want to use them or where you might want to use them um so what else is there hats for nodlands when um, Heli says biochem is really good for synthetic prefabs because if you're only using the endgame sims it's easy to get the materials for prefabs because they don't go much above grade 10. <gasps> oh that's interesting I never thought about that that's a good double dip right there. What else did I want to show you guys? Oh, yeah those guides um, if you're curious about prestige I did my best to write about prestige it's a bit of a mysterious topic still I still feel sometimes but I talk about both stronghold prestige and individual uh, legacy prestige and how that works and uh, even made a little list of where to get some more prestige <laughs> okay so now let's 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 show you some secrets okay so secrets I have a category feature called lights up the room and this is a really useful page. It's not 100% comprehensive, but I hope it helps. So first off, I have a section called the brightest lights. Good if you need to actually light up the room. And then each of the lights uh, that actually does some type of lighting, I also put them together by ceiling and then by wall and then by floor. Um, and I was able to import this information also to the individual pages. So if it's a light decoration, if you scroll down all the way, it'll show you what it looks like with and without the light. This is a this is an awesome guide. I actually needed this for myself, so I just sat down there and took pictures of freaking lights all day. <laughs> and then um, what's really nice is one of our volunteers helped tag them so that they're categorized uh, in that way. Um, as and uh, when you click into something, it will tell you 
uh, emits light, yes. And what does the light do? It lights up the floor. Because some of them only lights up like the ceiling or the wall and stuff like that. Aw, oh, incomplete list. Emperor Hux also lights up the room. Aw, it's so sweet. 24-7 stream. Oh my gosh. We are supposed to do the fashion show like an hour ago, weren't we? <laughs> Queen Lana says, happy birthday, so Teresa. I hope you have a great day. Thank you. I hope you guys don't mind, though. I'm, I'm just so excited about this project. And this is my little moment to yak about it for like an hour. Um, and then, what's some other cool secrets? Uh, I guess let's do the unknown section. The unknown section is really interesting and weird. Happy birthday, says F9 from Banff. Hello, fellow Canadian. Hope you're, uh, if you live there, awesome. If you're visiting, awesome. Okay, so let me, let me drink something. Hang on. Mmm. Oh, that's sour. But tasty. Mmm. Yeah, you need a speed run car bun. Sorry, Snava. Very, hey, nice to see you. Very says, hey, Satrista, I hope you're having a great day. Seeing your passion for this game always brings a smile to my face. Oh, very, thank you. What are you drinking? It's uh, it's getting really weird because the green screen is picking up the green and the cactus. It's uh, cactus juice, JK. It's freshly squeezed in orange juice from my tree. I woke up at 4 a.m. this morning because I was well rested and I just grinded oranges. <laughs> okay. So the unknown section is decorations that used to exist but don't anymore or show up in the decorations panel but don't seem to actually exist in game and there's no real way to get them or they possibly existed at some time in the data mining files but then never actually got added so it's a weird mysterious list very weird you want to know about the Corellian AA turret? Let's see if we can find any information about it. Corellian AA turret. Unknown. So, all I have on this one is, uh... <gasps> oh! I tried and put any information I could find here. There's no historical data for this unknown decoration other than it says it should drop from source Flashpoint Corellia. Here's a Reddit thread about players discussing that's not actually available. So sad! So sad. And why isn't there a toilet decoration? I always thought, I always thought the thing that looks like a phone booth was a toilet. Yeah, that's all, that's all we know. It's just, it's, and so I was also creating kind of a repository of information about bugs in that way of stuff that's like, just shouldn't be in the list or never actually came out and stuff like that. Where's the toilet? Do you guys know what I'm talking about? This is the toilet, right? <laughs> this is the, the refresher. <laughs> Everyone uses the Andron water basin for a toilet now. Oh no, but it doesn't flush. <laughs> Crimson says I'm trying to go try this at home. Oh, good luck. Good luck for your stinky. That's Dr. Lou's turtis. Oh my gosh, the turtis. <gasps> yeah, that reminds me. That reminds me of something I needed to do later. Sorry. Is there a section for cave decorations? Oh, you know what? Um, I don't know what you would put in a cave exactly, um, but two collections you could check out are the Yavin 4 collection and uh, maybe the skeleton or collection and uh, maybe beasts. So the Yavin 4 collection has some cool sculptures and stuff like that you could put in there. Skeleton collection. Skellies. <laughs> Look at creepy. I was thinking about creepy. Creepy's got a lot of fire stuff. And little critters. No cave decos. Oh, for like a killick cave. Okay, so no cave section, but there totally is a killick collection. <laughs> there totally is. It, there's only five decorations in it, but there you go. There's a killick collection. So, all in all, furniture without upholstery? You could search the stone category. Buddy, listen. Go back in your cave where you came from. No, I don't know. On my birthday, the Acolyte comes out. Nice, Matthews. That'll be a fun way to celebrate your birthday. And Necro, thank you for the happy birthday as well over on YouTube. Stuff that would make a cave comfy. Normal furniture. <laughs> so all in all, this is a really exciting project. It is 
ginormous, just absolutely huge, ridiculously big, um, ridiculously filled with different information and stuff like that, um, and really, really complete. I'm not saying it's like 100% complete or anything like that, but it's fully up to date and our wonderful volunteers did like so much work categorizing everything. So just a quick, quick overview of how to use it. SoTeresa.com slash decorations. It'll be up here in the menu. It's actually here now. It's just, I'm having trouble seeing it. Is it this button right here? Yeah, there it is. Decorations. You click it and it'll bring you there. Um, and so if you want to learn about strongholds, start with the stronghold starter guide. If you want to pick a stronghold, stronghold comparison. If you want to learn about individual strongholds, click these buttons. If you want to get easy decorations, go in the decoration guide section. If you want to learn about what kind of tables or chairs or rugs you could get, use these. Um, <laughs> if you want to find all fire decorations or crystal decorations, use these. If you want to see what you can get from different flashpoints, use these. And if you want to see decorations by type, use these. <gasps> or you can use the actual menu. The menu has it. You just roll over it and it should open. Um, uh, oh, one more cool thing. Another cool thing. Okay, don't forget you can use a search. So what are, what were we talking about? Primeval? Primeval? I don't know how to spell that. So if you know the name of a decoration, you can just type it in. And sometimes it'll show stuff if, it, if it's in the um, description. However, this is really cool. This is something that I built early on that I really, really like. Sometimes I have a hook and I have a vague idea of what I want to go there, but I don't want to search through the entire hook. So let's say I have a single small hook left, like the Copero Stronghold has all these random small hooks. So I know I want to put something small in there, but uh, I don't want to search through the entire floor small hooks because there's yeah, there's over 10 pages, and I don't have the patience for that. Ugh. I had the hiccups, I'm sorry. Um, now, where the multi-search comes in, in handy is you can select multiple things, and it'll say, show me decorations that are this and this and this. Um, so, for example, my favorite example is I want to have uh, something that fits in a floor small hook, and I want it to be a like plant or like a, oh, sorry, hang on, type. I want it to be a plant, so environmental something or other, and search, and it'll combine those two searches together and show you things that you could put on that small hook that are environmental. So this one was super useful to me. Another way you can use it for the multi-search is let's say you want to have trees or like plants that are pink. Plants that are pink. You can choose the color and the type and search. Ta-da! Yeah, so it'll show me. So as you can see, the the tagging is a bit hodgepodge. For example, I believe one of our volunteers tagged this as both green and pink because it has some pink on it. We didn't really have a, um, a specific list of how to tag stuff or not tag stuff for the colors because it's very subjective but it's very neat in general so uh, in this case this example it helped me find these these flowers that i could put in my stronghold that would fit in that small hook so what can you combine for the multi-search uh you can search for type hook source color features and collections uh, i recommend only using two and maybe max three i wanted to look at the crystals decorations yeah this is one of my favorite uh features Anything that has a crystal on it, I asked, I asked them to tag crystals, which made me really happy because I'm a little crystal goblin in real life. <gasps> There's two pages of crystals. Oh my gosh. And like for these decorations here, the solid blue formation crystal, these ones are weird and, and there's no solid way to get them anymore. So I wrote down as much as I, I could tell. Um, what else was there? I wanted to look at like the fire and the water ones. Where's the fire and the water? fire and water and these little icons in Cesar made they're so cute um so if you're looking for decorations that have some type of flame or lava I cheated and threw the lava in here too we've got that and if you want decorations that have water like fountains and stuff like that I cheated and threw in blood as well you know it's the same thing um and a toxic goop but that's also the same thing right um you can sort through that as well also very useful if you're going for some type of theme ha ah, okay so yeah I think that's everything on the site. 
on sisterista.com slash decorations. Thank you so much for listening to my presentation. Um, and if you want to support this project, visit sisterista.com slash support because this allows me to do it full time for you guys. Yes. Water equals any liquid. Yeah, exactly. Katara knows what water bending is blood bending. <laughs> A big happy birthday to you, says Andrew Cook. Thank you. Uh, Necro says this decoration section is awesome. Nice job. Nice. Nice, nice. Um, Necro, I, I have been enjoying these glasses, yeah. I don't think they're helping me with the headaches, but uh, they, they do seem to help with the general eye, eye squinting. So I'm a happy camper about that. Kieran Wynn says, this is going to be such a wonderful resource. Emperor says, if you do an updated project in armor sets, that's potentially on the list. That, that one's harder for volunteers to help with. That's where it starts getting hard. But I do have other projects to update the site um across the board kind of on my wish list have a good one Helly. thanks so much for coming in I'm, I'm so so glad you were able to swing by so we could show off your projects <laughs> prod prod thank you very much thank you for the birthday gift appreciate it oh you uh oh you did a big birthday gift thank you so much prod i just noticed it was for six months holy cow thanks Prod says, oh, I'm Blur from music from YouTube. How's it going? <laughs> Blur! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Jack Cup says, have an absolutely amazing rest of your birthday, and thanks for letting cele us celebrate with you. And take care, everybody. That's good. Thank you. Bye. So if you have to hop out, now's a good time. But if you have to stay, we're going to do the Sith Fashion Show next. So what's coming up next? We're going to be doing Sith Fashion Show. Uh, I just need a few minutes to get ready. Um, we're going to be doing an Imperial side on the Star Forge server. I didn't actually choose the location yet, so just get logged into your Imperial character, Star Forge side, level 15. You just need to have your, your ship in the story so I can teleport you. Um, bring your coolest Sith outfit. You can be on any type of Imperial character. Uh, so any class, so Bounty Hunter, Imperial Agent. Sith warrior, Sith inquisitor, doesn't matter, but you have to be dressed like a Sith in robes or armor, you know, like looking cool like a Sith, right? It's not a competition, just a show off. If you just want to show up, Montego, you can. Okay. I got to go change out of my Ikea clothes, everybody. George DeLuna, thank you very much for the birthday wishes. Um, Prod says, may I ask when I stop subscribing, what do I lose? Do I lose anything worthy of staying subscribed? Prod, if you mean to SOTOR, uh, I'm going to link you something that should give you a lot more information because there's a lot to cover. Um, but I linked you free to play preferred and subscribed info. When you go from subscriber and you unsubscribe, you will become preferred. Okay. Let's see. Is my character logged in? I want to do some no bones in my wimple. No, in my proper outfit. I need to go back to Ikea. <gasps> a giveaway has started for 450 cartel coins. Awesome! We're doing a giveaway! <laughs> Poor Silent got cut off halfway through. Wait, why is everyone posting emojis? Do you guys know something? Oh! Special giveaway. Enter by spamming emotes in the Twitch chat for the next five minutes. Okay. Yeah, this is perfect timing. This is perfect timing for me to go get ready. This is obviously my Sith outfit. Okay, bye everybody, I'll be back. Functioning little twerp. This is all his fault.
I've altered the deal. Pray I don't alter it further. Silent, can we end the giveaway now? Instead of in five minutes? <laughs> Reclusive over on YouTube says, Long time fan, but never commented. Happy birthday. I appreciate all of the info you provided for SOTOR. Thank you. I'm glad you've enjoyed it so long, Reclusive. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Sana over on, on YouTube's Hasbo also says, Happy birthday. Thank you. Congratulations, Silver Wolven. You did it. <laughs> Man says Re Rocky. I remember this game like it was yesterday. Oh, well, I remember it like it's today. Because we're playing right now. I'm going to jump over to Imperial side and come take a look at you fools. Because we're going to be doing the Sith fashion show. See, I even changed into appropriate attire. I don't... Oh, I was going to say I don't have Sith robes. But technically I do. But, uh... Mr. Satri says technically sleeping directly on top of them. <laughs> They're like directly under him. So, uh... Uh, I'm not gonna pull out the bins under the bed just to just to get some Sith armor, right? Ah, uh, let's see. Can I get into this Twitch directory for Sotor? It's been funky lately. Good, good. Oh my God! Wait a sec. No, no, no. That's not right. Live channels. Okay, I was like, there's not that many of you. Okay, there's only 200 of you. Good, 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 good. Okay. Fashion show. Yeah. <laughs> Do you use your Sith robes as bed sheets? The Dark Council does not approve. I'll consult. Do I, little buddy? Do we use Sith robes as bed sheets? That's rude. Okay, all right, am I on a Sith? Yes, okay. Now, here's the tricky part. I didn't think of a good location. We're going to Korriban. I'll, okay, if you want to join, please whisper eavesdrop. Please don't go to Korriban yet or you're gonna get stuck in the wrong instance. If you're joining for the event, the Sith fashion show, please whisper the character eavesdrop E A V E S D R O P. That'll be Imperial side on the Star Forge server. Please bring a Sith character dressed up in Sith fashion. Sith robes are at the dry cleaner. Can I come anyway? You can come, but you can't be in the fashion show, Camino. <laughs> what type of saber variant would you have? Uh, that's a good question. I never really thought about something like that, to be honest. Um, do you guys have any ideas? What would I use? What type of lightsaber would I use? If I had a choice in the matter. I always figured I'd use two. One in each hand, you know? I'm gonna start sending out those invites in a second. I'm just gonna try and go get in location first. Let's see. Let's try... See if I can do Varia into an ops group. ba -da. I'm gonna try and find somewhere that doesn't have too many enemies, which may be a bit of a difficult process. Oh, right here might be good. Facing this direction. Okay, let me start sending out invites now. Eldis, Varia, Arisa, Valdoris, Romilly, Impsuk, Odessia, Kalashe, Prince, Tox, Macaris, Honey Bunch, Lorcal, Jevdet, Wintaki, Sorita, and Sara, Windrise, Edrian. Did I did I hit that one? I did. Montego? Okay, I think 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. And we can get four more for now. And then we can get more after. Boop -boop. Boop -boop. Oh, Hux, can you whisper me again if I missed you? <laughs> it's very 
hard for me to properly click the names. You want in too? Uh, can you type your character name again, Green Lion? I remember it starts with a G. That's not very useful though to me. You whispered as Kylo Ren? Oh, did I not manage to click you? Oh, you're there. Okay, okay. Group. Summon group. All right, all right, all right. If you guys could make a line, but a, a horizontal line across the screen facing that way, facing that door over there, facing that walkway over there, facing the same direction as the character eavesdrop. It doesn't matter where you are in the line. You guys can make a little line. That'd be great. Um, is there anyone who's currently in the group who could, uh, who has a summon available who could help me? So I can invite some more people. You can? Okay, Varia can. So I'm gonna remove Varia from this group. And me and Varia will make a whole new group. Group, convert to ops group. We'll get Kellyus, we'll get Odessia, thanks for waiting. We'll get Elevania, we'll get Kismala, we'll get Cran. I think we got Kylo Ren. I think we got Mayamoto. I think we got Tadrao. Looks good. Did we get everyone? Or Odessia we got? Kellyus? Yes, Elevania. Yes, Kismalia. It looks good. Did we get Kran in here? I think so. <laughs> yes. And invite Mala Canthus. Oh, was there two different Kylo Rens? Oh, that's what happened. That's funny. Can we stop confetti? Can't see much. Here, let's see. Can we make the confetti like mini Vitty? I just really like the confetti. Makes, oh, oh, but we actually need to see what's going on now. I see. Yes, we can. We'll just put an itty bitty in the corner, okay? Is that okay? Is this acceptable amount of confetti? Dan says swapping characters be there in a minute. Okay, cool. For those of you who are not physically here yet, I'm gonna teleport you here in a second and then, then you can jump in the end of the line. Uh, okay, sweet. So I'm gonna, if you could, I'm gonna turn off, I think, can I turn off nameplates of pets? I'll just turn off everyone's nameplates. That should work. Asvir, Good Scythius, Green Arrow, Ant Red, and Dan N. Can you please let me know once you are in the group so I'm no longer waiting for you? Oh, look at you guys. You look ballin'. Whoever has that vendor, would you mind uh, deleting it? Would you mind right clicking it off of your buff bar? I don't know who it belongs to. <laughs> I think maybe Kylo Ren or Arissa. I just want to take a screenshot without the little vendor marker there. What does in group mean? Thanks, thanks for uh, thanks for unsummoning that. I'm so confused. I had a group of four characters all whisper me at the same time, and then they all sent me the same message at the same time. I'm trying to figure out if something's trolling or somebody's like multi-boxing, and, and that's why it's all the same message. Ah, <laughs> uh, Bringy, eh? Because if it's multi-boxing, that's fine. If it's trolling, I don't want you here. Hi, says uh, Nalone. If I'm level 40, <gasps> but oh 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 okay but why did you all spell it the same way at the same time <laughs> you guys scared me i was like what <laughs> you all wrote it exactly the same way hi if i'm level 40 on the galactic seasons can i make it into level 100 uh i believe so um i haven't done the math but basically you can earn a thousand points per week i think 
no, you can do seven objectives per week. And I think you can get like 50 to 80 points per week. Um, I can't remember the math exactly right now. I don't have time to do it, but in alone, I've just linked you the Galactic Seasons Guide and it talks about points. Okay, so I think we have, uh, I'm assuming Dan N is, is in here now. So I'm gonna send out a summon. I'm gonna do it off to the side here, group. Oh, actually, uh, Varia. Varia, could you come out of the line so you're out of the way? Oh God, Bringy, I hate you so much. Varia, if you could come away and summon, that'd be awesome. Bringy, you are so cursed. And you know what, Bringy, you can't even see how cursed you are. That's how cursed you are. You can't even see it. <laughs> <laughs> When you said the bug had returned, I didn't think you were going to bring it to the fashion show. <laughs> I think my favorite part is your little legs, like, swinging out into the background there. Occasionally. <laughs> you can see it on the other side of the line. <laughs> oh, wow! Cake how? Hello! Hey, everybody! We bring tea, cake, biscuits, and birthday cake for the stream. Oh, my goodness! Hi, you guys! Hello! Wow, special birthday surprise. Hello everyone, welcome on in. Uh, let me take off these glasses for a second. We're just trying to be cool, you know? My name is So Teresa. Uh, I cover Star Wars The Old Republic and today is actually my birthday party. Um, so we did a bunch of events earlier today and we are now showing off the most cursed character in the world owned by Bringy. What is this haunted display? So basically there's one piece of armor and they fixed it, but it broke again. And it's basically stretching to infinity and it's causing all kinds of other weird <laughs> issues. <laughs> um, but we're doing a Sith fashion show um, where we're showing off our favorite Sith uh, outfits. So we've had all kinds of characters join us. I'm not entirely sure how many people we have at this point. Um, I'm hoping that we got everyone. If we didn't get everyone, you guys have to figure out your own life. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go over the outfits now. It looks like, uh, Bringy was nice enough to put away his curses. <laughs> Could someone help get Silinar from General Chat over here with the summon and the invite? Okay, let's start with... Let's start with Darth Malacanthus. Darth Malacanthus, and they've got a very classic set of robes right here. Did you dye this thing? Hang on. Inspect, inspect. Did you dye this? To look at your outfits. Ah, you did. You put a black, black dye in here. So this is a saber marshal's robe. This is actually a very, very early kind of level armor. It's not normally very expensive or anything like that. Um, but with that black dye and because it has the bright red barking to it, it looks really cool. I really am a fan of using those original armors, especially when you change it up by adding something like a new black, black dye. Um, Montego and. Uh, Green arrow, head to the other end of the line. I'm using this as the beginning. Next up is Darth Dreadmaster Bringy, who's cycling through like 40 different armors. Um, because he can. So he can't decide. <laughs> so we're just going through uh, all the different like looks people have brought to show off for the stream. So this is Imp Suck, who's got uh, the, uh, the look is called Dreadmaster No Pants. Oh, you've got a metallic die in there, don't you? So they're wearing Tula Accord's uh, chest piece. And I really like this one because it's got these cool little wings. But it does look fairly different because they have slapped one of those new metallic red-black dies in there, giving it a different texture. I'm curious about your feet, though. Ceremonial boot guards. Those die really well with the uh the metallic dyes there very or is that your pants oh i think that's your pants oh that's like the dancer's bottoms that's neat overall thanks for sharing all right next up is sororita synteric dang that's a nice looking set you've got a really good mix of uh different different things here don't you you have the new chess piece that just came out it's a uh, Vaguely inspired by um, the Ahsoka series. I, I always forget which character it is. Because it's. I, I kept saying it was inspired by um, Mr. Bay. Mr. Bay, but it's not. Uh, and it looks like there's possibly the new matte black dye in there or not. Oh no, it's just color matching. Even cooler. So they've got a mix of stuff from the heroic chess pieces 
uh, chess for the head, um, Callus Conqueror's gloves for the cool kind of very detailed gloves. They've got a really neat looking lightsaber with a mix of different things, including the dread, uh, the R4 weapon tuning, the creepy tuning, I forget what it's called. Um, and then a mix of other little bits and pieces too. Very, very nice put together there. Good use of that new armor. Oh, so here's another one of those sets how I was kind of saying, I really like seeing people use the earlier armors in, in new, interesting ways. So here is the uh, Voss Operative's Tactical Jacket. And this is actually a very old look that you couldn't get for a while, but they reintroduced it on Voss. And um, what this player did, this is, this is Miyamoto, and they have placed a black black die into it, or black gray die, I can't quite tell, um, to change up the look of it. Very, very neat. And they've got, um, in their color crystals, they've got some of the most clashing color crystals in the entire game. Orange and blue, baby! <laughs> um, next up is going to be... Macarus has got like a very kind of classic Sith outfit um, in terms of like the Old Republic and Sith, Sith comics, which is pretty cool. Let's take a look. Inspect player. So they have the, I think it's Nagus Sadao. I always get my Sith Lords mixed up. Nagus Sadao's tunic, but they have slapped a white and gold dye in there, it looks like. Maybe one of the older ones. I can't tell if it's the metallic one or not because it does different things to different textures, which is kind of neat. And they have combined it with the sacramental headdress. What's funny is I think they have a purple and gold dye in there and it's like not applying. Kind of interesting, but they have a big mix and match of different different stuff here. Next up is going to be Tadro. Tadro's got a very good classic uh, Sith robes as well. Um, if you're thinking about a Sith, you're thinking black robes probably is, is is the first thing that's on your mind for a Sith outfit. And this is doesn't get much better than this. This is the Exterminator's Cuirass? I don't know how to say this. Cuirass? This is an old word. And uh, they put it together with a bunch of other pieces just to make a pure black outfit with a red double-bladed lightsaber. Nice. Um, next up is going to be... Jev Det Bay Kirak, who has playing also the no pants dance today for spa day on the Sith side this time. Um, but I've seen a couple players do this. Uh, this is actually not a skirt. Spect player. Not a skirt. It's actually a belt from the Sovereign Executioner set. And they're just wearing like one of the bikini bottoms under to make it look like a mini skirt. And this is combined with the Defiant Asylum Body Armor MK26, which is a total mouthful, but <laughs> flex. <laughs> it's a total mouthful, but it's pretty cool because it's a crafted armor and a fairly uncommon crafted armor as well. And they've mixed it with bits and pieces from all over, including the, uh, like these sandals are a cartel market one and these Onderon bracers, they're from the previous curing track, which is pretty cool. Yeah, don't, don't flash everybody, ma'am. Um, next up is going to be Darth Vadoras. And they have also gone for the full matte black look, but less traditional. They've mixed and matched a bunch of different kind of cool Sith pieces. Um, so Vidorius has the Trophy Hunter's mask, which is something I actually like to use on my characters, but they're dyed matte black. If you guys could help uh, Tubba, put your character name in chat and maybe someone can help invite you. Um, Mark Aragnos' robes, Mark Aragnos' pants, and just a mix and match of other little bits and pieces. Um, but with that matte black dye, it really does change the way it looks because this is normally like silver. Very, very cool. And you've got your Halloween lightsaber. Congratulations. I have to sneeze. Look at this guy who's wearing a mohawk. Did you guys look at the mohawk? Okay, good. Next. No, just joking. Let's take a look at this outfit. So this is, um, we saw that Tulak Horde's outfit earlier. 
And this is another Tula Chords chess piece. Once again, I think it's really neat with the little wings there. And it is a lore-focused lore armor set, which is always cool to see. And they have mixed it, however, with a red red die. Um, so it's very neat what you can do with the dies to make the same armor set look different. Oh, Frida Nad? Oh, what the heck did I say? Frida Nad. I told you I can't keep my sis straight. They're all just dark side people to me. I don't know. They're all evil. Ooh, Scary. All bad fashion. No, just joking. All very designed. Um, so I thought it was interesting that you uh, grabbed the goggles, though, for your character to go with Mr. Mohawk here. I thought that looked pretty cool, especially with them dyed red, red. And the, the lightsabers here, these super glowy lightsabers with the black core and the pink sparkle are called the volatile conqueror's lightsaber and that's like their default animation um they also have their default animation let me just get real close here they have this shiny purple stuff on the hilt which is cool next up is hey i've seen this person before hello this is darth and sorrow who's on a red toilet character and they actually have two different color lightsabers, which is always something I like to see. That's probably what I would have. If I had any lightsaber, if I fought with lightsabers, because I was like, Darth Sisterista, uh, I would have two lightsabers and probably different colors. Would I be good with them? No, I'd probably kill myself on the first day. It's fine. Mr. Mohawk. Um, and this is an outfit called a Jedi Strategist Tunic. So kind of interesting. This character is very clearly a Sith. They are a Marauder, um, but they're kind of dressed more on the Jedi side of things. Very neat. So I, I'm wondering if that was like some type of role play uh, idea. If you guys could be nice and, and help uh, like get Rice here and stuff like that, that'd be cool. Pr ne up next is Prince Kylo the Vicious. Oh wait, is this, this, this is very awkward. So we have Prince Kylo the Vicious and Kylo Ren Hux the Destructive. I'm feeling very, I don't know what type of feelings I'm supposed to be feeling right now. <laughs> oh no, you have the Kylo face too. Put your mask back on, put your mask back on. Don't show me your butt. Oh, I see what you're doing. <laughs> put, your, put your dark mask back on, Prince Kylo. That's super cool. So clearly we have two, we have two individual cosplayers who are like, I need to Kylo it up. Very, very, very cool. That is Ben Swallow. Yes, it is. So we've got Kylo Ren in his kind of classic with his mask, his cracked up mask. And uh, I think this is a really good choice of the mask. It's pretty neat. Um, and uh, what's interesting is that he's actually wearing Visus Mars chest piece. Like this is a really neat mix of outfits, actually. Let me take a little closer look here. It's Visus Mars robes and the pants are Wayward Voyager's Greaves. And the mask is a Dark Marauder's helmet. And the belt is Osa's Explorer Girdle. So big, big mix and match with that matte black dye to get that look. And of course, uh, you know, Kylo Ren's lightsaber. Kind of cool. They are two Kylo Ren's. Both chose different color crystal colors. So. And this is obviously Ben Swolo. Kind of neat. Kind of neat. They had the same idea to use that girdle. Apparently, this is Ben's girdle. <laughs> this is the one. Um, and uh, they went for like... A smashy smashy kind of look and osa's explorer pants and uh got the classic defiant vented lightsaber to go with it you guys did a good job setting up your characters to look like it that's right uh darth arisa Kalig is up next so their last name is Kalig. that is a character in one of the stories but that character is kind of mysterious the character is kind of mysterious in the fact that we don't know exactly what they look like um, and this is, however, their mask. So they put together a really cool outfit uh, to kind of match the mask, it looks like. They, they also did a black, black dye. Oh my god, why are you guys so rich? Why does everyone have a black, black dye? Um, and they use the Vicious Adepts robe. So this isn't like a specifically expensive piece, but I think it's from a previous... Mm, previous, like, gearing system. Isn't this from Galactic Command? I think it was, the Cosmetic Rewards. Hey, hey, stop switching outfits halfway through. Get out of here. <laughs> Thanks for showing off, Kara. Oh, I like these lightsaber thingies. Inspect player. Those are schmancy. This is Lord Tox Novi. Nice bow. Definitely show those, those uh, cutlasses out again. So this is the Onderon Guardians cutlass. 
Oh, you have the holographic weapon tuning in it. That's what's going on. I see. That's neat. So uh, if you have the holographic weapon tuning in these, they're, they're like mm, sword parts disappear. And, if, and it looks like they have a black red color crystal in there. So between those three things, they just wind up looking really, really neat. Um, for the chess piece, they're also wearing Tulak Horde's chess guard. We've got a full list of ancient Sith today. And a Sinister Warrior's belt along with some other bits and pieces from Tulak Horde's. Nice, nice combo. I really, I really do like this look. Nice job. Um, we have Kalashe. Who is dressed in one of I really really like this chess piece. It's very very striking in its default color too. So this is the Dark Legionnaire's breastplate. It normally comes in black and white. And uh Kalashel has put a black and red dye in it to make it even more sithy, and they've got black and purple lightsabers. What did you have for a tuning there? Oh, it was Tulak Horde's lightsaber. Nice. Next up we have wind rise oh wind Ryers, the benevolent so i'm gonna go with it just a guess that between your name the benevolent and the kind of lighter colored outfit you're kind of vaguely leaning more towards the light side but you've got kind of cool creepy details going on here so you've obviously got a, your your cybernetic eye patch you've got this chest piece and pants, these are part of something that drops from Oricon, or rather Re Oricon Reputation. It's normally like purple and very sithy, but the beige kind of change, changes it up. Kind of kind of interesting there. Someone wanted to know in chat, is the only place to get dyes from the GTN and Cartel Market? No, you can craft them too. That's the big one. If you go to sotresa.com slash dyes, it'll, it'll give you full explanation. Um, and Grand Inquisitor's Waist Wrap. So you definitely got some mixed signals here, which I think is pretty cool. Always a fan to see something I haven't seen before. Next up is Edrian, or Edrian? Edri Edrian Vance, uh, Fallen Knight. And they're in an all black armor set. Very cool. I like this one a lot. This one looks like they're a true, a true warrior, true warrior. And they are wearing the Sith cultist robes Sith cultist lower robes, oh. Marshall Pilgrim belt, and Tawadere's mask. I really like the way that looks with that. What do you? I can't tell if you have a black. I think it's a matte, just a normal black dye. That or it's a matte black and shiny dye. Overall, it looks really neat the way it changes the colors and stuff like that, though. Very cool. Thanks for sharing. Next up is Cran Shavan the Malevolent. And they are actually wearing Valen's armor. And this armor set. Although it's been originally designed for kind of a female character because it's based off of Valen, it's um, also kind of generic enough that it can fit a male character really well as well. It gives them a very Sith, very regal kind of look. Are you wearing Arkin's mask? That's messed up. That's messed up. The royal family. <laughs> Captain Roman says happy birthday. Thank you, Roman. Thanks so much. And thank you Friday over on YouTube too for the birthday wishes. Very nice. It's his mask now. <laughs> Apparently, and with some, some nice looking um, red lightsabers. Hijacked Imperial lightsabers. Is that from the last, one of the last seasons? I think so. What is this? Oh, this is a pet. I thought it was somebody's mount. I was like, why is there a giant ship taking up my entire vision? No, it's fine. Um, let's see. This is Wintaki the Sinister. Ooh, I, I, I'm curious about what dye you have in there. So they are wearing the one of my favorite helmets, the shark fin helmet. And this one, oh, is one of the crafted ones. So this is actually something you can craft yourself. And kind of interestingly enough, when you dye it, the gold parts don't die. So what do they have in here? They have a black and blue dye. And if I remember right, that one's part of reputation. Could be wrong. Um, but it's ugh, you can see all these dye stuff on sotresa.com slash dyes. I just don't have it memorized. Um, <laughs> birthday bash, the silver leaf. Happy birthday. Thank you. I've been receiving so many nice gifts. And we've been having a lot of fun. I like shark fin helmet. That's all I got to say. Next up is going to be Romilly Elsu. And I don't see this very often. Oh, <laughs> as they turn on their red eyes, is the Twi'lek with the markings. Um, I think they're called brands. Like they're almost self-inflicted or like scars. 
um, and pff, popping the red eyes toy just to make it extra sinister. So what did they got on? They've got on the Dathomir Shaman's robes, which are super interesting right now because we just had Ahsoka come out not too long ago and we found out Dathomir Shamans in this day and age of Star Wars don't wear this weird wrap stuff. I do like that they mixed it up. Um, instead of wearing a skirt, they put on some pants and they also mixed it with these pants, the Dark Marauders boots, which have a kind of cool organic texture as well, kind of to them, this kind of weird ribbed texture. Oh, do you have a, do you have a red, red shiny dye in there? Oh, you do. That's cool. And lastly, lightsabers got some cool stuff going on. Oh, oh, weird. Two Lock Horse lightsaber. Red and gray color crystal? What is that? Color crystal, color crystal. Red and orange and gray? Maybe it's the gray red crystal. No, I don't think it is. Maybe it's this one. I don't know, but it comes out really weird. Very strange, but very cool. And they've got it with a technolith tuning as well, which is probably adding to the strangeness. Thanks for sharing. I also like your choice of uh, the... I got this. I got this. It's an another Sith. It's Zozin's arm bracer. Next up, we have Darth Lorcal, who's uh, got a very kind of nice, uh, very uh, Sith look. Very Old Republic Sith look, I would say. Kind of reminds me of Valron a bit. Um, both the look and obviously the character is there is cis pure blood. So let's take a look at what they have. Ooh, I like your uh, choice of uh, weapon there. Sheesh. So this is the Onderon Guardian's Pike and they've got a really bright, I think it's the hot orange color crystal. Can I remember quite which? Um, once again, so Teresa.com slash crystals has all the information. And um, they've mixed it with pieces from uh, the chess piece, the most important one, is from the heroic crate. So something you can earn over time. And then they've slapped a dark red and black dye in there to make it look uh, even kind of more unique. Um, maybe a little darker. Bum, bum, bum. Things are showing off. Next up is Eldis Odin. And Eldis is actually wearing, I think, one of the newer hairs to the game if I remember right. And they are also wearing a mix of the royal families. Get out of here, you chiss! Um, they're wearing um, um, a mix of these cool royal family stuff, but in a different way. So this player is wearing Thexen's robes and Arkin's mask and veil, uh, Thexen's gloves. Mostly Thexen's with a little bit of Arkin's mask, but they've also put a dark red and black dye into it. So they kind of gave it their own twist along with a... Oh, you're wearing Senya's lightsaber too. You guys are crazy. Senya's lightsaber with a red color crystal. So here's another character who's quote unquote wearing their trophies. Next up is Darth Varia. Oh, you were offering to help get people invited. That was nice of you. Don't ask me why I tried to join your group. That was an accident. Um, this character is wearing an outfit that I really like too. I actually have something kind of similar on my Togruta. This is the Ardent Oracle's body armor. This is a cartel market item, but there is one similar. That's a set bonus set. And it looks like you've put a really nice die in there. I forget what that one's called, but it's one of the kind of more interesting cartel market dies that they have. Um, maybe cold weather. Maybe, uh, they have weird names, a lot of them. Maybe hyperspace. Maybe... I don't know. Looks good though. I like it, especially because of your two Gerda's uh, head, head tails. Yeah. Nice matching set. Next up is Asvir. Asvir is wearing a Nihilus uniform. So the mask of Nihilus is a uh, older and rare item. It's very lore based. Lots of people think Nihilus, the character is super, super, super cool, you know? And it doesn't have an armor set that goes with it. Why? I don't know. They just never made one. So players like to try and put together their own outfit. And so what did this player, uh, this is Darth Asphere Lodbrock, what did they choose? They decided to choose the Shadow Disciples robes with a black, black dye, Visa's Mars pants, and Sash. That's messed up, bro. <laughs> you can't treat her that way and then steal her pants. 
Nihilus. And they put it together with a Tythonian Force Master's lightsaber and a red color crystal and I think a dark side or a heated weapon tuning. I think the heated one. Either way, very cool. Can you still get the mask in the bazaar or is it just Revan's mask down there? I know I have it in the Underworld Reputation Guide, but I can't remember. Next up is going to be Kismala. Oh, you guys are running out of space in the line. It's funny. <laughs> Kismala is dressed up all in red and black. Good, good Sith colors. It looks like they're also using one of the shiny black and red dyes. Um, so let's take a quick look. Um, by the way, for those of you who are in line still, like you already had your turn, if you want to stick around, I'm going to do one-on-one -on -one screenshots in a, in a few minutes uh, once I'm done this line, basically. So you can show off on the website if you want. Um, Emperor's Chosen Mantle. Oh, Emperor's Chosen. That's one of the newer sets, isn't it? Oh, that's from Galactic Seasons. Yeah, very cool. That's from the previous season. Nice put together. I've not seen anyone do anything with that yet specifically. And you've mixed it with uh, Dark Honor Guard's Unstable Lightsaber and uh, Unstable Weapon Tuning. Pretty. Pretty, pretty evil princess. Next up is going to be Good Scythius. What a name. Oh, we were talking about this armor set earlier. And this is uh, this is what it looks like undyed. So it's a very classy look, even undyed. This nano... Oh, oh, it's the same outfit, but different name. Visionary Pummeler's Chest Guard. Aftermarket Pummeler's Headgear. Oh, sweet. You are actually wearing stuff that you picked up along the way, huh? And it, it put together for a very cool look. I do really like that you have a green lightsaber that's fairly uncommon to see. Oh, Kunkalex says, that's me with like no drip, got that free to play drip. Honestly, a lot of the stuff that you pick up on along the way is really cool. And that's why I was like sad because some of it's really hard to get. Is it too late to join? No, but you have to find someone to invite you in game because I'm not sending out and they have to like teleport you here. I just can't do it while doing this. Lord Odessia Bird is up next and they've got a nice kind of uh, underworld shadows Sith look going on here. I've, I don't think I've seen this chest piece dyed this way before. It's pretty cool. So this is the Herald of Zildrog Robes. Normally they're a very matte black, a very dark black. Um, and they've mixed it, mixed it together with some other pieces, including the Revenite Vindicator's Helmet and Twisted Fang Lightsabers with some different color crystals in them. So a black and red and a white and black or something like that crystal. Very cool. Executioner's Weapon Tuning Sparkling all up and down there. Next up is going to be Ant Red. And ooh, I like this skirt. I don't think I've seen that one very often. And this when we talk about these older armor sets this is not shouldn't be one of them but you can like can you kind of see when i look really close how it's kind of jagged that's because it has a lower resolution texture graphic and compared to say like satil shan's boots i guess you could say <laughs> so compared to some of the newer armors so antred is wearing the stately dress top but more interestingly they put a black uh, a blue and gray dye i'm not sure what this one's called onto the dress to give it some different colors there. And I bet you anything they chose it because if you look at them, they are a Zabrak. They've got some face tattoos. Unfortunately, I can't really get in there to see well, but uh, this, this skirt kind of has kind of some similar markings, which is pretty neat. Next up is Silinar, Imperial Scholar. And uh, they've got a really neat, a very compacted tight outfit like almost like a superhero outfit so they're not going to get caught on anything so if i had to guess they're probably pretty good with a lightsaber in their story um so they've got satil sean's lightsaber it looks like oh but with a with a with a kind of darker color crystal hey wouters water says hey gamers found this channel since i'm interested in sotor is the game still going strong hi Hi there, this is like my little birthday party event, so I'm going to let everyone else answer for once instead of me yakking. I'm going to keep going through the fashion. Um, but this is a bunch of people who are all doing a fashion show right now. <laughs> um, and some of the other pieces that this player has, Silinar, which is a cool name, kind of like Cinnabar. Um, they've got the Sensuous Dress Top. They've got the Satil Shans Gloves, and they've got the Satil Shans Boots. Oh, to go with the Saber. Very cool. Very nice. Thanks for sharing. Next up is Green Arrow. Is this a Sith outfit? Or is this just a reference outfit? Looks good either way. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, it's Matego. Matego, thanks for heading back to the end of the line. Appreciate that. I was trying to figure out what to do when everyone was uh, milling about. So this is Montego's character. Looks pretty cool. He's got the one of the uh, Sith warrior only cosmetic options, I think. And he's wearing the Resilient Warden's breastplate. And he slapped a die in there. I think it's a black, black die. It could be black gray as well. Makes out for a nice color, but what's interesting he's got is the Dark Honor Guard's curved vibro staff with a black and blue color crystal, which is not something that you see very often. Thank you very much. Next up is Dutch Vinder. You scare me. I don't like your face. I can see your little bug eyes and your weird little tongue sticking out is extra weird. Wait, does she have a black tongue as a Ratataki? Yeah, she does. Weird. I didn't know that. Well, I learned something today. Rotataki apparently have black tongue. Um, but you do have a really cool outfit on here. It's like very over the top. So the Dathomir shaman's robes are very excessive, but they have such a stupid hat. Normally. Like, it's like a weird little hood. That looks like you made it when you were learning how to knit. And weren't very good at it yet. But I like that you mix it with the uh, dark augers helmet. Stop making faces over there! Yeah, I cover you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, big mix and match going on right here with the Zakula Inquisitor's boots, concealed bodysuit pants, uh, heroic gloves from the chest. Very, very neat overall with the dark honor guards lightsaber with a red and black crystal. I think it's it's one of the cartel market ones. Stop it with those faces, dear God. Next up is going to be Dutch... Uh, didn't I already look at you? Dutch Fender? I feel like I did. I feel like I'm going crazy. Um, this is a nice outfit. This is uh, basically Ahsoka's... I feel like I'm having some life issues here. Hang on. Spec player? Oh, oh, Expatriate's vest. It is showing up correctly. It's a mix and match of a couple different outfits, actually. So this is Ahsoka's vest from the cartel market called the Expatriates. And they're using um, some pants from a previous galactic season, which is cool. Can't get them anymore. And a mix and match of a couple other things as well to make kind of a combat go, go suit, you know? Almost like, uh, reminds me of something from Teenage Min Mutant Ninja Turtles or... Uh, Power Rangers, the bad guys. The bad guys. The bad ninjas. Very nice. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Maybe do a little jump here and there so you don't get logged out. Um, Vector. Vectoris is next up on a very maraudery marauder. So, Vectoris, a little while ago, I was trying to make an outfit that screamed marauder. Like, you look at that character and you're like, yes, they're a marauder. I did I did the black and red color crystals, but I think you may have beat me on the most maraudery outfit that ever maraudered. Um, so let's take a look at what do you got for, for an outfit here. You have the Sith Recluse Breastplate. He's really chonky Tempest Warden Greaves. I love that. And the Tempest Warden Boots. Sinister Warrior's Belt. It's got that nice pop of color there. Infamous Bounty Hunter's Bracers. Callous Conqueror's Gauntlets. And uh, Battle Warden Engineer's Headgear. All of that with a black and red dye and uh, the Honor Guard lightsabers. And I was like, oh my god, that's a chonky outfit. I love it. Definitely look like you're going to stomp some Jedi to death. Um, next! Thank you so much for showing off. We have somebody who bought their mask. No, it's Bringy. Next up we have Tipash Ovu, the Eternal Warrior, who's got kind of a more light-sided looking outfit. Oh, no. Oh, you have the new sticks! They look exactly like they are described. Big sticks. Um, so this character Tepesh Ovu, the Eternal Warrior, is wearing Jedi, a uh, Jed, Jedi, I can never pronounce it right, I'm sorry, a uh, chest piece along with the pants uh, and belt, and Tawadar's mask. It makes for a really neat little look here. Oh, I see you're trying to flip through different uh, weapons and color crystals. So earlier they had the sticks. Luckily I have the sticks over here still. Um, that's a new on the cartel market. I hadn't even really looked at it too much, but basically it's a weapon they made for a cutscene and they just decided to sell it too. It's a cool and practice stick. And they also have a pair of white lightsabers for when they don't need to whack somebody. Next up is 
Rice Dofia. So Dofia has actually brought something interesting. So this is the Imperial Battle Ace Pilot Jacket. And this is really cool because this is something pretty much every player can get. I believe it shows up in your mailbox as soon as you log in, but don't quote me on that. Um, so they put together something neat with that outfit plus plus the Prophet Starforge lightsaber. And if you take a look, you take a look, it's got this cool spinning thing. Yeah, buddy. Thanks for showing off. Oh, you didn't have time to speed run, Corbon? Hey, you did something pretty fast with what you had. Next up is Zavije, the Revanchist, a master of the beyond, who's got sparkle glasses because, you know, what Sith doesn't. I like that you've got a, a hodgepodge going on here as well. So these glasses are from the Nar Shadda Nightlife event. Uh, you should be able to earn them coming up sometime soon. The Nightlife event, I imagine sometime in August. It is random chance, but there aren't a horrible chance to get or anything like that. And they put together this outfit of Darth and Adu's breastplate. High roller shades is what we saw earlier. Nagasadao's belt, revealing bodysuit pants so you can see their little leggies through it, their little red legs. Oh, sorry. And their lightsaber that looks like it's broken is the Twisted Fang lightsaber with a white and black color crystal and a snowfall weapon tuning because you know, when you go to the casino rave in your Sith clothes, you gotta, you gotta bring the snow. Aren't we supposed to get a new event for spring coming up here pretty soon? Yeah, I'm Miranda. We'll be learning about it sometime in April, sometime this month, but we don't really know when it's coming. Apart from it's a spring event, right? Reign of Armitage Hux. Oh, huh. I wonder who you're supposed to be, Hux. I bet you this is Emperor Hux. Justice Hux. On the character Armitage Hux. Listen, is that why Kylo Ren is over here? I'm pretty sure I've seen some fan art of that, of Kylo Ren and, and Hux together. <laughs> yes. It looks really good though. It looks solid. Like, I feel like I could guess who that is without, um, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> um, I feel like I could guess what your character is even without, um, without the name. Looks good. Look at that. Aww. Next. Sorry, I had to like come over to the wall. We were kind of running out of space, it looks like. Next up is Aramir. Aramir is on a Cathar. They're on a very dark color Cathar, almost almost black, black, brown, gray. Um, and they have blue eyes, but with the bright, bright, bright red armor, which is pretty cool. So this is the, oh, cool. This is uh, some of this is stuff they've put together uh, that they just picked up while leveling. So this chess piece is one of those ones that is just, you know, um, you can't like buy it from a vendor. You can't buy it from the cartel market. You can't buy this exact version anywhere else with that bright, 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 bright red uh, secondary color. And they've mixed it with pieces from that they picked up and some from Heroics, which is pretty cool. And their lightsaber, which I think they just changed and it accidentally blinded me. <laughs> their lightsaber is redeemed Revan's lightsaber with a light blue color crystal. Oh, to match their character's eyes. Oh my God. Thank you for sharing. Next up is going to be Reign of Hot Hail. Hey, I know this guy. Intazar, this is not a Sith outfit. Just because you want to be a winter warrior. The Gathering Storm. It's Gathering Snowstorm? Listen, Icy Boy. Just because I owe you credits doesn't mean you can come here and... and okay, there you go. There you go. Look what happened to... <gasps> Intazar, if you're not watching stream, look at stream. Look what happened to the outfit window when you changed outfits. It like exploded <laughs> that is um not not what it's supposed to look like hang on let's reboot it and take a look at your actual sith i think you changed from winter into summer right here summer as in the summer of death so he's wearing the eternal champion's body armor oh cool so this is um is this from eternal championship i can't remember might be a cartel one. And he's mixed it with the Dread Mass Guards Corrupted Mass. So this Dread Guards Corrupted Mass is pretty cool. You can only get it from a certain boss. It's fairly surprising, uh, uh, fairly uncommon to see people running around in it. It's not necessarily hard to get, just like it's too hard to do solo, you know? 
And so, unfortunately, it can't be dyed or changed color in any way, so players try and put together an outfit to match it very often, and this is a pretty cool take on that. Usually players try to incorporate some type of gold, which he has, and then um, with it, the Corruptor Blade, which is actually dropped from Operations. Oh, maybe you're trying to put together an outfit to match the Corruptor Blade? If so, cool, either way. Um, and put inside it a black and red color crystal. Thanks for sharing it, Dazar. Now you can go back to your Winter Warrior outfit. Ninja! Ninja! Lucky Lucy. Lucky Lucy has a really cool, very subtle outfit going on that I really like here. So first off, their mask is the remote outcast, outcast goggles. Chest piece is the Imperial Lieutenant's jacket. Is that from the previous season as well, or is that the Thrawn one? I think that might be the Thrawn one, dyed all black. Um, the Jedi Knight Revan's belt, and the pants here are the Jedi Knight Revan's greaves, which makes it kind of interesting because they're cut off early, and you're wearing the Zosin's foot wrap, so it's almost like a little shinobi kind of thing going on right here. Really like it. They've mixed it with um, a double-bladed lightsaber, which is called the Ancient Force Imbued Blade Staff, and what's really cool is it changes color with your color crystal. So they've put in, I believe, a black and red color crystal, and it's making the text black and red. Very, very neat. Thanks for sharing. Bye. We have another Winter Warrior here. What's going on? This is Aubrey Spade, the Force Walker. You don't look like a Sith. You look too cool. You look like you're a Mandalorian Jedi. Yeah, you look like a Jedi, buddy. You look awesome, though. So this character is wearing the Defiant Mavericks chest piece with a blue and white dye. And they've mixed it with the Feast Traders rose, which is really cool. I don't think I've seen that combo before. I really like it. And that's from the Feast of Prosperity event. And uh, the Defiant Mavericks boots to go with it. And it makes this really nice, like, line that goes all the way up and down. Can you guys see that? I know it's not the best lighting, sorry. Because <laughs> we had to rotate the line. Very neat. Oh, 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 so Lucy was going for ninja. Perfect. And it looks like I think we're last in line. Hopefully. Sorita. Sin. She kills people with no pants and no shirt. She's all ready for spa day, that's for sure. Um, let's see. She's wearing the exquisite dancer's top. Uh, Shikawan royalty griefs. Oh, you are wearing pants. I see. I see, they are just color matched. Very interesting. Um, and the Shikawan set's really neat because it's uh, kind of more designed for Twi'leks, more specifically, but it's a really pretty uh, elegant set altogether. So nice mix and match there. Um, and lastly, they have the Ancient Force Imbued Blade Staff again. And, and you can see that this one has a different color. It's got like the, almost a pink, color, pink red kind of color crystal in there, making it a uh, different from the one over there, but only subtly, only subtly different. I was gonna ask if you're gonna put your mask on. They also have the trophy hunter's mask for when they want to be a freaky Sith person, you know, as one does. Very nice, thanks for sharing. And lastly, we have here, Create. Oh, that's a nice username or character name. Create is wearing, oh, you've got an interesting, uh, interesting thing going on here. I couldn't tell quite what you were wearing at first. So they're wearing, um, create, can you actually turn around? Like, face the opposite direction? Because I want to I wanna show you in the light. Yeah, there you go. Awesome, perfect. Now we can see some of those details. Um, so they're wearing the Kel Dragon's Vindicator's chest guard. And the Kel Dragon armor is... Uh, oh, poor Dantius wants to know if they can join. I think I'm going to call it a day. I'm going to say this is the last one. I'm sorry. You came in at the very end. Um, so this one is an armor set that you can't get anymore and it was very very difficult to get in the first place it was related to operations and high-end rating so what was cool about it is that it had these animations on it these little subtle blue animations when very few armors were animated at all you can even see it on the on the knees <laughs> sorry i'm laughing because the knees are in the dirt right now um and they've dyed it with a maybe a Underworld boss die. I think that might be what's giving it that kind of color. I'm not sure either way very cool And they matched it with um, this color crystal this silver blue color crystal to, to complete the look Awesome, I think uh, I think I got everybody. Oh you, I like how some of you changed outfits in the meantime That's really funny. I like it a lot. Hang on. I'm gonna do a quick 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 pew pew 
pew pew pew pew pew pew pew pew pew pew pew pew Awesome. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to do is I wanted to do like a photo shoot and I didn't know the best way to do that. Um, but maybe I can have you guys come up to a specific spot one by one. Maybe if you like, oh, I should be on a rock and you should be, I think, below me. For the nicest view. Oh, there's some bad guys there. That's not going to work. Hang on. This is probably a, oh, that would be, oh yeah, I guess you guys can just kill the bad guys. <laughs> No more bad guys, lol. Okay. Uh, all right. Go away. Go away. Please go behind me. No, behind me, not in front of me. And uh, make a line. Make a line behind me. If you'd like to be featured on the website, make a line behind me. And I'm basically going to have you come up one by one. Yeah, you guys are doing great. Okay. So, wind rise, wind rise, go in front of me and face me. Oh no, it should be the other way, shouldn't it? Did I screw up? Did I screw up? I think it did. <laughs> um, let's see, let's see. I wanted to have like nobody else in the background. Maybe I'll go over here. Just a second. You guys stay there. You guys stay there. Uh, wind rise, can you can't come and stand in front of the camera? Yeah, I screwed up. I know it's a bit of a run. Can you run across the street? Maybe you should come stand on the rock. Come stand on the rock where I'm standing. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm like, do this, do that, do this, do that. Oh, yeah, this is pretty cool. I wish I had a rock to stand on, but this will do. So pose however you want to pose up there. Okay, I'm going to try and take a cool screenshot. Okay, next. Who's next in line? Next. <laughs> Get off the rock. <laughs> see, and you can see on, this, on the Twitch. You can see what your character will look like. I wish I... This isn't quite right. I think I need to be, like, on level with you, don't I? Here, maybe come down here, then. Come down here, if you could, and just uh, face me. Face me! Come stand, like, right here, where I'm jumping up and down and face the same way as me. Like, come stand on top of me. There you go. Perfect. Stay there. Who put sparkles on me? That's rude. Okay, yeah, this is gonna work good. Not perfect, but good. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, next. Next. Can I just yell next and yell? Ugh, I kind of fucked this one up. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. Oh, you have all your little pets there. Good. Oh no! Your lightsaber! Okay, next! Get out of here, I got a cool one. Get out! <laughs> Take your lightning and leave. Next! <laughs> Put a dollar in the swear jar. It's my birthday. I'm allowed to say bad words if I want to. Da 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 da! Your body has to be facing me, not your, not your front. Otherwise, I don't get a good view. Okay, cool. Nice. Next. Cool, cool, cool. Get out of here. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Get out. Next. <laughs> Thanks for looting the, <laughs> the enemy. All right. Gotcha. Next. Get out of here. Shoo. Have a good one, Kieran. Wynn. Thanks for coming. Hey, Silent. Do we have any prizes left? <laughs> I haven't been watching chat. Who's next? 
Who's next? Oh, you're over here. I see you. I found you. I found you. I found you. You're good. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't. No. 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 I move. You don't move. <laughs> okay. Next. <laughs> next. 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 <laughs> I see a Sith running around, but I think they might just be questing. Here we go. Sorry. I know there's probably confusion over there. Like, who's next, though? Where are you going, Valen? There we go. You want to be a post or anything? Ah! Nice. That's some drip. Good. Gotcha. Solid. Bye. Next. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to use Slash Yellow from now on. Get out of here. Shoot. I'll kill these. Here, I'm gonna do some murder really fast. Oh! Oh no, poor Kran's like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Kran's like, I don't know how to leave. Do you wanna take like a step over to the left here? Um, To my little Sith friend. Oh, there we go. Perfect, perfect. Fantastic. Great, got it! Unless you wanted to do something. Bye! Next! <laughs> Who's next? Nice! Perfect! Got it! Oh, you want to show your lightsaber? Probably, yeah. Nice! Next! Get out of here! Drip? What drip? <laughs> oh, new contest has started on Twitch! Um, Silent says, if we have started for a Mandalorian heavy jetpack, you only need to enter once to enter. Type drip what's drip. Nice. Gotcha. Next. Nice job. This is going to be a cool, a cool showcase. I'm sorry it won't have your guys' names on it, though. Gotcha. Next. I just can't do it. It's too hard. You'll have to say, that's me! <laughs> Darth Asphir Lodbrok. Here we go. Uh, get some Nihilus in here. Oh, it's a little too close. Too little, too much forehead there. Nice. Next! Yeah, I know. There's a lag between game and Twitch. I'm sorry. That's why I'm trying to put next in chat. <laughs> Thank you, DA and Kelvin over on YouTube. Thanks for the thanks for the wishes, the birthday wishes. Hash hash and says, is she going to do all classes or just Sith and Corbon? Yeah, this is just only Sith. Only Sith today. You stay still. I'm just waiting for someone hopping around in the background to move. Hang on. Got him! Take your Gizka and go. <laughs> Can I do that right? Take your kiss guy and leave! <laughs> oh, bye little kiss guy. There we go. There we go. Arkin drip stealer. Gotcha. Next. Nice. Here comes another Sith. Another one blast the dust. Sweet. Gotcha. Next. Just sit here and drink and take screenshots. We got this down pat, don't we? Nice. So let's see if we can get your little pet in there too. Look at this sweet outfit. Next. Gotcha. Mm hmm. Bye bye. <laughs> I like see. Wait a second. Oh, that was very confusing. I see your companion is is a Hux wannabe. I don't think you'll be able to get... Here, I'll take one like that. That's about the best we're going to get. Stay still. Stay still. Don't move an inch. Don't move. Don't move. Okay, gotcha. Next. Nice job. <laughs> Fake Hux. 
<laughs> we have Hux at home. Hux at home. Oh, little kitty. Let's see if we can get the cat too. Here, here. Nice, very cool. I'll back up a bit. Yeah, just a second. This hill is so awkward though. Next. Oh, Jack, you won. Congratulations. Nice, nice, nice. What is Cybertech good for? Collection appearance wise, not a lot. It's the least cosmetically useful of the entire game, but it does have, oh dang, that looks freaking sweet. <laughs> Thanks, next. Um, Cybertech has the ability to make some vehicles, which is kind of cool, but that's really about it. Um, they used to be able to craft like earpieces and stuff like that, but they still can, but they're useless. <gasps> what is your weird critter? Next! Bye, Intasar! Thanks! Oh, they can craft the stuff for augments, too. Weird little critter butt. Sorry. Oh. oh, there's like some fighting going on on the side. Thank you. Nice! Next! Gotcha. Oh, confetti! <laughs> I got it! I got the confetti! <laughs> <laughs> I like seeing you guys run on stage. It's kind of awesome. Let's see. I don't know if you're able to. Can you rotate your character just a little bit? So that your chest is facing me? Like, spin around in a circle? Because your outfit's so freaking cool, but it's hard to see from this angle. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the one. That's it. Good. Uh, next! I don't know what I'm typing in chat or if it worked. Next perote. <laughs> Next. <laughs> I tried. I tried. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, I like this one here. Let's see. And see, this is what I was trying to explain getting the chest to face forward. Next. Next. Perfect. Done. Get out of here. <gasps> nice. Jack. Jack. Click Silent's name in chat. Silent Soldier. Click his name in chat and send him a message and that way- Oh, just a second. Stop throwing snowballs off me. <laughs> oh, do you want snowballs on you? Um, Jeff did? It depends. Like if you want them or not. They're cute, though. Pew! Next, if you don't mind, snowflakes. Okay, there you go. Did you want to do your lightsaber? There you go. Oh, I tried to get... I, uh, let's see. Did I get that? Cool. Do you want to do it again? Again. Again, Flourish. Again. Oh, there we go. Got something cool there. I don't know what, but I got it. Next. <laughs> Someone's trying to add special effects. And it's not working good. Nice. Come here, Valron. Reminds me of also of uh, the daddy. You know, the dad. Da don't come too close or you, you get in the screenshot by accident. Okay. But X, the daddy of Valkorian. The daddy of Valkorian. You guys know what I'm talking about? I don't know what I'm talking about. There you go. I was going to see if you wanted your lightsaber. Did you want to try rotating your chest towards me? So we can see your whole outfit? I don't know if you want to or not. It just looks cool. The way you do that is you hold down your left mouse key. And then press left or rotate. Oh, no, I didn't get you. No, 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 no. Come back. Malcanthus. We'll just take a super awesome candid shot right here. It's fine. That's a banger of a shot. It's fine. Next. Gotcha, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. The force will be with you. <gasps> Who's that? Always. Hey, Happy Robert. birthday. Thank you. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Thank you very much. Let's see. Da, da, da. Okay, next. Thank you. Still kind of salty about this hill. Because y'all's outfits are great. Who's next? We're getting there. Getting through our line. 
It's gonna be a really cool show off. Are you doing confetti party too? Confetti! <laughs> I got it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> got your confetti party. That's that's great, thank you. <laughs> Cranberry says happy birthday. I got you, Mel Mel Melcanthus. I got you. I I, I took a really good screenshot of your outfit while you were standing over there. Next, next. Thank you, Valoris. Valoris, got you. Yeah. What is the confetti pet? I don't remember what it's called. I just remember that it poops confetti. That's all I remember. And Robert, thank you so much for the, the birthday gift. Very nice of you. Okay, what next? <gasps> Mischievous mini probe. Oh, Dramath. Dramath is the word I was looking for. Valkorian's dad. I'm not gonna call him daddy, I'm sorry. Not happening. Can you, do you think you can rotate your character? I do it by holding down my left mouse key and then pressing the left and right on my keyboard. Yeah, just keep rotating until I can see your little, uh, your, your lightsaber? <laughs> the front? Like, the, the pictures. The letters. Yeah, there you go, there you go, there you go. There you go. Nice, there you go. Next! I do like at some point Intazar yelled rotato for me. <laughs> oh, hey, who are you? We didn't see your outfit earlier. Natasia, is this a late, is this a late visitor? <laughs> Hi there, what are you wearing? You've got the, oh, Malik Shadowguard chest piece. Nice. Um, next, but cool outfit. If it vomits confetti, is it vomit fetti? It sure is. Next. Oh, we had, a, we had someone in stealth there. Just pop out of nowhere. That's, that's awesome looking. That's cool. Thank you for uh, rotating. Next, good gal here. Go vomit Fetty elsewhere. Ah, it's a sandy hill. I hate sand. It's coarse and irritating. <laughs> oh wait. Are you guys here together? Are you guys the same person? I don't think so. Okay, but I got you. <laughs> oh, how sweet. Um, um, Silent says a couple people have been messaging him about joining Nexus, uh, which is the guild. So Nexus and Radiance. Uh, Nexus of Radiance and Nexus of Vengeance is the guild that I'm in. They're the same guild. Um, but uh, you can see more information at nexusjoin.com. It is open to everybody. You just have to apply to join. Oh, dang, that is a baller of an outfit. I really, really like this one. Um, Aubrey, I don't know if you can hear me. But really like it. Really, really like it. Like everything about it. You get two screenshots. Don't tell anyone. Okay, next. <laughs> Just bros being the same person. <laughs> oh, a new giveaway has started. Hey, it's my friend Botego. Next, yeah, here. Oh, Rockalate, don't worry at all. We got cool screenshots all around. A giveaway has started. For Opal Vulptilla Mount. Oh, nice. You only have to enter once. To enter type sand, be comfy. Oh my god. Nice, you got some of that purple stank on you. Next! Sand, be comfy. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Bagel says, okay, you convinced me. What, a, what am I convincing you of? <laughs> that sand's coarse, rough, and irritating and gets into everything. Thank you so much to Hamburgor and Daniel over on YouTube for saying happy birthday. Really appreciate it. Thank you. So nice. Sorry for the slowest and moving big stream delay. So three said, no worries. Is that it? Wait, did we finish? Oh, that's it. Were you the first? I don't remember. Did, I don't think I took your screenshot. There you go. Stay still. Stop jumping. There, gotcha. Get out of here. I don't even know who you are. I don't know you people. What are you guys even doing back here? You're the worst backstage participants ever. 
All right, you guys. Do you guys want to do a group photo and we'll call it a day? If everyone could just come vaguely around me and stop throwing snowballs at me or stinky leaves or lettuce or garbage food or whatever it is else you guys do. Okay, here's going to be the, the screen. Come off your mounts. Come off your mounts and face the same direction I'm facing. You'll be able, if you look on Twitch, you can see the, you can see the, the picture. So if your back's facing the, the Twitch, then you're in the wrong spot. <laughs> oh, Rockalate. No, don't worry about it at all. Mick says, I'm going to make a character on Star Wars so I can participate next year. Right, you have a full year. Maybe slightly less than a year, maybe slightly more than a year, depending on when I throw my birthday. You know? This is going to take a while. We're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. I see there's some characters that are on the far left here that maybe won't be in the screenshot unless they, they scoot over come over to the right side here. I'll turn off the, the graphic for you guys too. There's some space over on the the far side. So if you're here, if you're farther than Aubrey. Aubrey, yeah, there you go. I, I, saw, I see there's a pet over there. I don't think it's a person though. I don't want to move the camera. There you go, Montego. There you go. And, um, Hot Tail? I think you're not in the screenshot, really. <laughs> nice. I, th I think that's it. I think that's it. Okay. I'm going to position the camera very slightly. Here we go. I think we got everybody now. I'll give you guys a second. Don't move around if you're in the screenshot. Don't move around. If you can see your character, don't move. Just stay still. I hate whoever just triggered that. <laughs> you little fidgeters. Oh my goodness. Oh, there you go. I see some of you went to the front to sit down. That was smart. There you go. I think we're good. I think we got it. How do you turn off the UI? I'm using Alt-Z. So thank you guys so, 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 so much for joining for my birthday. Um, it was really, really fun. Um, I, I mentioned at the beginning of the stream, but I've been having a lot of health issues. And so I was scared I wasn't even going to make it to do my birthday anytime near my birthday. Um, but I'm so glad you guys showed up, even though it was a Friday morning. Um, Silence picking his last giveaway winner. I don't know when these pictures will be up, but at some point they'll be up on Twitter and the website. Um, congratulations, Caminos, for winning the very last giveaway. I hope you enjoyed attending or watching or seeing the silliness that went on today. Um, thank you so much. Just thanks for hanging out with me, just in general. I really like it. This kind of stuff makes my day. Like, it's so fun, so stupid. I like that you indulge my shenanigans and my IKEA. <gasps> there is one more thing. One more thing. Will you guys wait a second while I go get it? I almost forgot. It's really important, okay? Really important. Be right back. Stay here. Trust me. Stay here. You want to see this. I told you you wanted to stay just a minute more. <laughs> oh, I've been wanting to do this the entire time that we had her. Oh, Shelly, Shelly, thanks you for all of the birthday wishes to me. And she's just woken up. Oh. <laughs> Bye to all the nice people. Oh, you're so cute. You're actually awake today and you don't really want to be held. Okay, I'm just gonna put you on the ground and you, uh, you <laughs> Thank you guys 
so much for joining me for birthday. Um, for those of you on YouTube, um, not much new YouTube content out right now, but lots of guides on Um And for those of you on Twitch, we're gonna go take a look at the Twitch directory. I don't even know who's online right now. Um, Sotro Caminos, can you please click Silence name in chat and send him a message as that will allow him to send you your prize. Who else is online right now? How do I... <sighs> I've been having a really hard time getting to the Sotor directory. Like, super rough time. I guess stop showing up in YouTube. <laughs> oh, it looks like Odie's online. Kitty Kiss is online. I think we're gonna go see Odie. If he actually came by and said hi today. Odie in seven, which is super nice. Probably before he was getting ready to stream. Bye! See you guys later. Have a great day. I'm gonna go wash my hands of the tortoise. Bye. Can you let Odie know? Oh, I'll let him know myself. Bye.